Hi, good morning. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to the program. Sorry I'm a little late. I had to clean my glasses. You ever have one of those where you're like, I'm about to start. I really should clean my glasses. Also, I didn't even turn on the lights in here today. It's kind of dark. I just realized that all the wall lights are on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I really got to get this automated on some sort of a room. Goldberg lighting system. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the Nobody Likes Onions Hate Hour. Um, it's Friday, and I'm in a good mood relatively, and I don't want to hit the like button, huh? I don't want to start the show on a sour note, but I'm going to. I just, you know, I, I'll take any opportunity I can get for 20 minutes of bitching about a fan. How do we, how do we get into this? I got some great stuff for you today. Not in a movie way. Uh, I got some stuff I'm actually pretty excited about. Uh, today. Little Lemmy said, I can't take you seriously with a hat and glasses. Hold on, isn't that what Kate Meany said to you? <laughs> Let, get rid of that hat. Come on, show everybody what a mom, a mom you are. Oh my God, now something's in my ear? Oh man. Anyway, I'm gonna be honest with you, I smoked a little weed this morning. I never smoke weed. I got up really early and I was like, you know what? When you're an addict, you're an addict. So have at some of that sticky Greenberg. Am I right? Consider yourself annihilated. <laughs> you asked for it. You got it. Uh, thank you, Mason in Portland, gifting one membership. I mean, this is where we're at now, you know? So you should be lucky. I'm, I'm telling you right now, all the little Lemmies and Colt C's of the world, turn on your gifteds. I mean, it's, you know, you're going to, you're going to have to get hit by a lawn dart to get a free membership around here. Um, it's, it's not happening. Uh, portrayal of vengeance joining. Thank you. Anyway, look, we don't have time for your memberships today. <laughs> I will say this. You're sitting there on a Friday morning. You're watching the show. I don't know, you know, and you're going like, ah, it's members only chat today. It's a dollar 99 and there's never been a better time to join than on a Friday. We do a members only show on Friday nights. You can watch for a dollar 99. Join the channel, subscribe to the channel. I have to promise everybody that, that the overdose will be caught up today. I'm getting email. I, I know, I know. I, I, I just wish I was better and I'm not. I, I don't have an excuse. I'm not good at this and I wish I was better. You won't hear anything, any excuses out of me or beating around the bush. I'm not good at this. I wish I was better. Oh my God, you won't believe what I have today. You really won't. Unfucking real. And the thing is, like, if I told Chad, I can't. I can't. We got a lot. We got a lot of great stuff. I got Steel Toe. I got Chad. I got uh, Michael Ray Bauer, believe it or not, has finally taken a walk. This is real. Michael Ray Bauer has taken a walk and uh, we're here to cover it. We're here to cover it. Waver, thank you uh, for the super sticker. Radish gifting a membership. Corn Diff member for 10 months. <laughs> I mean, when do, when do these vegetables go bad? Six string uh, man, 10, 10 months. Father Joe, five months. Is this the original Father Joe from like back in the day? 2005 ish? Uh, B Smiley, of course, coming in with a super sticker. If you see Waver, you'll see B Smiley. If you see B Smiley, you'll see Pulper. Again, something's going on. I'm not sure what, but 
it's gay and I'm here for it. The taxi staff member for nine months. Mario G member for six months. Just great stuff. Just great stuff. Bauer took a walk. It's the longest video he's ever done. And then uh, I've got uh, something to go back and revisit from last night, which I received in an email, which happens to be the same email and the same listener I'm going to complain about today. So it's really full circle. Hit the like button. We're doing it. It's Friday. Um, things could go really, really bad for everybody here. Okay. Uh, Luke of the Bind. Thank you also. The darkest 10 months of his life, he says, which is not appropriate. Drew, thank you for uh, being a member. Wow. Everybody really uh, re up in their memberships. I guess we were out of town, so everybody was just like, I'm not going to renew on an off week. You know, we'll wait till he's back should he survive. Uh, so thank you, Drew, and Portrayal of Vengeance. That's very, very nice. Um, we appreciate it. Oh no, what was this? I didn't get the audio on that one. I've been lying all this time, Milton. Yeah, how is Joey C still laying low, faking this coma? I mean, I, I, you know, I'm one of the shows that doesn't really bite on every piece of news that leaks out. You know, every fucking dope and comedy ran with this Mark Norman. Uh, New York Comedy Club got evacuated story yesterday. Oh, no. Was it fake? <laughs> I mean, just idiots fall for this kind of stuff. I mean, Joey C is on day three of pretending to be in a coma. How does this idiot be quiet for so long? Has he been arrested? Is he in jail? Uh, Michaela says he streamed yesterday. Joey C did? All right, I was going to say, there's no way. I, I told somebody, there's no way he could keep it up for 48 hours. So if he streamed yesterday, he didn't keep it up for 48 hours. So that's great. Um, You'll hate me for saying this, but I don't think it's a bit, said Mason in Portland. I mean, come on. He streamed yesterday, somebody said. I thought I saw him, said Michaela. I mean, if this was a best of. I mean, this is two strikes for Michaela for me this week. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. Uh, no. Joey C. bequeathed his entire fortune to Spider Alomar. His wife played an old show. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is what I thought. I mean, we knew two days ago he's playing best ofs, but Michaela's not caught up. Get Michaela caught up. My Krang been there, done that. Your Krang sits there with dunce cap. My Krang VIP. Your Krang needs ID. My Krang VIP. Your Krang needs an ID. Okay, so listen, um, you know, I don't want people to think <laughs> that I don't want your emails and participation. I got to be very careful here. However, most of you are fucking retarded, like socially inept losers. <laughs> so much for the careful part. I need you to turn this show off and quit. Before what happens to weird parasocial nuts happens between us. Uh, uh I, 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 man, <laughs> man. <clears throat> so last night we're watching, um, my email, er, er, all the ways to contact this show are in the description. You never have to ask me that. It's pretty gay. So look, um, you know, I have my email open during shows. I don't always check my email. I don't always, you know, if I don't need help. Or I'm not looking for something specific. I don't necessarily have my email open. <coughs> mm. And more importantly, if you email me something and I don't reply to it, like, chill. You know, who cares? 
I get a lot of emails. I have to personally go like, hey, I've received this. Thanks for your support. I mean, grow up. You know. I guess Mason in Portland's been or was it Panhandler or Mason in Portland? I get everybody confused. Who's the one emailing me every day about coming here in March? It's probably not Mason in Portland. He seems like a, a relatively normal. Aside from his allegiance to Joey C. Yeah, I think Panhandler's been emailing me like every day, like he's coming here in, in March. Not every day. He's going to write me like, I don't do it every day. It's twice. I, I lie. I mean, fuck. Everything I say on this show is a lie. Can we just get that out of the way? I don't want to argue with anybody about it. Yes, I'm lying. Anyway, like he's coming here in March. He's not even asking a question, really. He's like, I'll be there in March on these days. Get ready for a hug unless you're not going to be there during those times. I have a feeling you might not be. Like, there's no real question. or. So, yeah, I like see that and delete it. It's January 26th. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm planning my March with you. No. So anyway, like, he says he emails me in a chat, I guess, and I was like, I don't know what you're talking about because I'm not, you know, I don't have everybody's email on the forefront of my mind, so he forwards it to me again. Like, I'm coming. It's like, okay, delete. Got it, got it. I mean, if you're good, I'm happy to have lunch and hang out with a fan or get a drink or get a coffee or just be normal. Email me the week before, you know, reach out the week before. I'm, like, I'm going to put it on my calendar, like, panhandler coming into town. Draw a little heart around the date. Like, I, I hate to burst everyone's bubble. No fucks given. No fun. No fucks given. I'm not buying tickets to shows. I'm not, you know. <laughs> I mean, come on. Anyway, this isn't about Panhandler. I don't know why I got off onto that. I love Panhandler. This is just razzing. Um, and I hope I see you in March. But, I'm, you know, again, you don't need to reach out every week like it's the, the advanced team for the president coming in to do a sweep. Just reach out the fucking week before and we'll see if we can make it work. I mean, Jesus Christ. So then I get an email from, from uh, some guy last night, I guess, during the april and aaron show wanting to tell me about something in the april and aaron show now look fast forward to today we're going to cover what this guy sent in it's unreal so great great send i don't i don't want to i don't want to discourage people from sending in gold like this because it really is gold but I guess he sent it in at like 7.40 my, or 7.31 my time. And at 8.40, he wrote back, you don't answer emails from me? Am I blocked? Why are you so rude? Now, look, I was literally live when this happened. I was live when this happened. So not only did I not check my email, he knows I'm live. And he's mad that I didn't answer the email. He's mad he didn't get a reply. And I misread it. Look, I did misread it. I thought it was nine minutes apart. I thought he had sent it at 831 and 840. So I thought nine minutes after this guy sent me an email, he was going like, you're not answering my email? When did you become a rude guy? Called me a rude guy. <laughs> These are grown men. So I wrote back like, dude, I was doing a show. I was live. I don't always check my email. I have three emails backed up right now since the show started. What are they? Oh, boy. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Why did I have to check that right now? Okay. Let me figure out how to... Maybe not today. You know what I'm saying? Who I'm talking to knows who I'm talking to. Maybe not today. This needs to be uh, strategized. Fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
Anyway, I wrote back, like, you know, I didn't answer you in nine minutes while I was live. Like, what the fuck? And he kept going, like, not, it wasn't nine minutes. And I was like, I mean, I'm looking at the timestamp. So then he wrote back, and he was like, it was 7.31 and 8.40. It was an hour and nine minutes. So, boy, do I have to eat crow here today. I, you are correct. You are correct. It was an hour and nine minutes. And now you make a great point. When did I become so fucking rude? I mean, hello, what in the fuck are we doing? Uh, 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 fucking Tiff, our queen, has sent me 30 emails. I'm exaggerating, don't. Send me an email about this. Uh, Ten. In the past two days. About the Shuli network. And how she's been demoted unceremoniously. And apparently Joe's up to something. I, I don't even know. I haven't had time to delve into it. A. Because this isn't real life. Who gives a shit? And B. You know, I don't. I've got a million things I'm catching up on. And Tiff isn't a retarded 12 years old woman, so I haven't gotten one email or um, chastising uh, flower gram saying, like, how come you haven't combed through all my stuff and processed it and made it a leading story? And she understands that. You know, I'm not <laughs> working on that right now. So anyway, I want to apologize to this guy. I'm, we don't need to even get into who anybody is because this isn't real life. I'm sorry that I didn't answer your email in one hour and nine minutes. I guess the only way to fix this is to tell you to expect less from me. I, I, I'm re I really, I, I do feel bad about the stuff, but it's like, I, 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 sometimes I get behind on the overdose. Sometimes I don't answer an email. Sometimes I, especially while live, you know, I'm sorry I didn't reply to your email, man. And I don't think about how it's going to hurt the person trying to help me, you know, it's like, I, so I'm, I am sorry that I didn't answer email. And I'm also sorry that I said nine minutes when it was 69 minutes. You're right. You're right. 69 minutes is way too long to have to wait for a reply from a guy you can see right now is busy. It's not like, it's not even 69 minutes in a black box where you're like, I wonder what Melton's doing. He's not answering my email. You're looking at me live on a screen doing something else. So you know I haven't seen your email. And yet you had to fire out another one and go like, what are you, rude? You don't read emails? <laughs> so yeah, first of all, yes. I mean, holy shit. Are you new to the program? I'm rude. So let's address that right now. You don't need to ask anymore. I'm rude. <laughs> like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm rude. It didn't just kick in. I'm rude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell oh my god are we having fun yet hit the like button dan g 50 dollars through the super tip system meaning i'm gonna get all of that that moody lets me keep uh patrick let me know if you're coming to tampa we can hit the hard rock casino i'm 90 minutes away i couldn't care less about watp but gambling is always good i mean i grew up playing in that hard rock casino it's it's a haunted, haunted place for me. Um, is Dan G on the wall? Oh, he already is. Look at that. 50 and you're already on the wall, Dan G. I'm going to make my knit. I'm going to make my knit? What did I say? Anyway. <laughs> hey, are you rude? When did you become rude? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It's been part of the brand for quite a minute. Okay, so here is the truth. I fell over a floor Newport and hit my head. 
Christina was too busy getting her rock pocket eaten out by the Monchichi. Monchichi. Monchichi, Monchichi. I bequeath my entire belongings to Mon Chichi. Okay, so look, let's get into it. This is what the guy sent in. And it is very worthwhile. I will say that. You know, first of all, this would never have gotten ignored and swept under the carpet. Also, I should I should say before this plays. This guy wrote in, he's like, he's like, whoever sent you this show should have sent you a timestamp. There's gold where this happens. And I'm not going to tell you what's about to happen, but it's great. But then this guy who was like, oh, whoever sent you this fucked up and didn't send you a timestamp, he didn't send a timestamp. This is the same guy who got mad about the 69 minutes. So I wrote back, after all that, you didn't even put a timestamp. And then he had to go look. And he's like, well, I had to go look then. It's like, yeah, well, that's probably why the other person didn't send it either. I mean, can we? But look, I don't want to dwell on it. It's Friday. Let's get happy. That's going to be the last time I scream about stuff today, let's say. And it really was worth it. It really was worth it because this clip is magic. I mean, and we skipped right over it because we went like an hour ahead. So we just skipped we would have never seen this. <clears throat> and if you missed it yesterday, we were watching, uh, last night we were watching a very awkward steel toe evening show from January 15th. They're, they clearly were in a fight before the show. April has had a frump frown the entire time, just scrimping it up to the max. Uncomfortable, uncomfortable. She's tuned out. She's checked out of the marriage. I mean, she's daydreaming while movie just goes on and on. He's facing the opposite way. I mean, it was very bizarre, the whole show. But apparently about an hour and a half in, um, there was kind of a reveal of what the fight is about. And if you're not paying attention, you don't pick up on it. It's about money. It's about bills. And it's like rocking the M. Holt household. Again, this is a reason you don't do a show with your wife. I mean, this is savagely brutal. But watch this. This is about an hour and 26 minutes in. Let's turn it up. Tell everybody that we're better now. Are we, though? I Hold on. Here we go. Might need to wind it back a sec. Go for it. Because I didn't get that opportunity. You just want to hear about it because you're all lesboed out. Uh, uh I am a cunt, says Aaron misheard. He thought to jack off Gino with his teeth, not feet. <laughs> Ow. Ew, I'm picturing like a cheese scraper, like teeth. Oh, motion. man. Ew. Why do they have to be those kind of teeth? No toothy <laughs> blowjobs. Uh, 150 away from tonight. See, Balls Deep just threw in 10 bucks. Everybody throw in 10 bucks. We're going to knock out that 150. And no Everybody throw in 10 bucks. I mean, what in the fuck? Imagine if you could get everybody throw if everyone in my chat threw in ten bucks, I'd have I'd have three thousand dollars or more. Everyone throw in ten bucks. <laughs> like what the fuck? I want ten bucks a month, and I feel like that's a big ask from people. Join the overdose, okay? <laughs> I mean, everyone throw in ten bucks. <laughs> no time. Uh, Jim's jazz says, what the fuck is this show? I don't know. It just got weird. All right. So the whole show again has been weird. They've clearly been in a fight. I mean, clearly been in a fight. Um, and then this happened. Um, April and I had a fight before the show and now we're being all cutesy Aaron with each other. Likes- so now we're, so he admits it. April and I had a fight before the show and now we're being all cutesy. And what does she say under her breath? Um, April and I had a fight before the show, and now we're being all cutesy with each other, likes, so now we're Aaron now we're better off. I was gonna... trying to tell everybody that we're better. So he won't let her tell the story. Aaron apparently likes... Aaron Aaron likes... Aaron apparently likes... All cutesy Aaron with each other, likes, so now we're, Aaron now we're better off. I was gonna... trying to tell everybody that we're... He's one of these guys. He has to tell his version of it before she can tell her version of it because they still are in the middle of the fight. The fight only stopped because they had a show to do, you know? And God forbid, don't do the show that makes $110 a night 
in, in lieu of saving what's left of your relationship. Pause it, go go on with the show, and nobody will notice it's awkward. I can't wait for Onion Con so I can show your little Onion fans the true meaning of free slot play. <laughs> I have the hottest slot tips you have seen in your entire life. My crang is merely a distraction for me to gain more free slot play. Will you join my crang and I in the slot tournament during Hackamania? Hackamania, May 31st to June 2nd. Tickets on sale for overdose members as early as next week. And uh, General Pop uh, shortly after that. Uh, save the date. All right, here we go. Being all cutesy Aaron with each other, likes, so now we're Aaron now we're better off. I was gonna, trying to tell everybody that we're better now. Are we? I was trying to tell everybody we're better now. Though I think so. It was so fucking stupid too. It was a gay fight, it was, wasn't it? And none of our fights are ever important. Ever. Our fights. None of our fights are ever important. Ever. But they're going to destroy us someday. They're fucking stupid. Whoa. I mean, boy, oh boy, did we miss some gold right here. They're going to destroy us. Ever important. Ever. But they're going to destroy us someday. They're fucking stupid. It is the stupidest fucking shit I've ever heard in my life. Destroy us? And you like have completely? no idea what it does to me inside. Like ever. done? You have no idea what it does to me inside. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, in fairness. Not you gotta, like it'll kill me someday. In fairness, you like, kind of started this one. So the fight is not over. The fight is not over. Again, they just paused it to do the show. And here we go, baby. <laughs> By asking what was wrong. You started it by asking what was wrong. No, no, and that's here not I what it was. Nothing. That's not what it was. No, that's not what it was at all. It was me telling you what was wrong. You're going, oh god. You did not. It was me telling you what was wrong, and you went, oh god. Now look. You can tell we're in full coat mode because he's laughing way too much and he's got his eyes glued on that chat room. <laughs> and so he is watching what popular perception <laughs> of this is going to be. How is this going to be received by the chat? <laughs> oh boy, watch. Not offer that up right away, no. I needed a minute. Well so what it sounds like is she asked him what was wrong and he didn't tell her right away like a woman. He she had to figure it out and he said I needed a minute. Well, when somebody notices something's horrifically wrong and I was having a good night excited to see you. I was having a good night excited to see you. Where was she? I'm not kidding. She might have a job again. Somebody asked you how your night was going. I was excited to see you. And then you're like, oh, guy, what, what's wrong? You know, I'm scared now. And then. So she came home. Mooby was moping. Oh, you're going you're gonna to find out what was wrong. You're going to find out. And look at the body language again. Now he's turned away from her again. You're like, nothing. And it wasn't. It's was clearly nothing. And so she asked him what was wrong, and he did the women nothing. 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 Was not it, nothing. And was it about you at all? Kind of. Not at all. Not in a million years was it about you at all. I just don't like, like, full disclosure. I don't like it when I ask, like, out of caring what's wrong with somebody I care about. And they're like, nothing. I mean, this is woman-level behavior. Because clearly it's not nothing. And then what about if they tell you, like, 30, literally less than 30 seconds later? That would be a better outcome. Thir Don't less, start with nothing. Less than 30. <laughs> 30 seconds later, I just later, think they that you, you shouldn't um you shouldn't insult people's intelligence that much by telling them that nothing is wrong. Sometimes I mean, this is literally role reversal. Every everybody I know, it's the woman who does this and you have to fi you ask her what's wrong, nothing, nothing, and you have to figure it out like I'm not dumb. Something is wrong. 
What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. It's just that you, you know. But no, she has to do this with Aaron. She's Daddy Shark. Daddy Shark. Daddy Shark. Sometimes a man needs to go nothing so he can buy himself 30 seconds to think. So he- sometimes a man needs to do movie quotes nonstop. And sometimes a man needs 30 seconds. Sometimes when you ask a man what's wrong, <laughs> a man needs 30 seconds to process. Sometimes a man needs. This is his excuse for everything. Like, you don't get us men. Sometimes a man just needs time to process his feelings before he answers his wife. Um, you shouldn't insult people's intelligence that much by telling them that nothing is wrong. Sometimes a man needs to go nothing so he can buy himself 30 seconds to think so he can say the thing. I mean, do you think she's buying that? Look at her. Holy shit. You realize that's lying. <laughs> ah! You realize that's lying. That's just lying. You know, sometimes when a woman asks, have you been cheating? A man has to say no while he thinks about it and gets an answer together. You know, that's lying. No, no it's no, it's buying time. No, it's buying time. I don't know. That's what it is. Uh, I'll just go kill myself. What? I'll just go kill myself again. I'll just go kill myself. He, she says. Our D I V O R C E becomes final today. Me and little Joey C will be going away. I love you both, and this will be pure H E double L for me. Oh, I wish that we could stop this D I V O R C E. Oh, I know. R and R. Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Professionally. Do you want I'll just kill myself? <laughs> what? Whoa. Understand. Like, women don't understand this. Here he goes. Mansplaining life to the ladies again, readjusting himself in his seat while she drinks. I mean, holy shit, the number of trulies this household puts away. <laughs> they just. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's uh, Australia. You can make them talk Australian. Bo- Bob Levy Australian is the best. That's abusive. Like, that's abusing men. Right I would there. never do. Now he's accusing her of abusing him. I don't know. He lied to her, and now he's trying to flip it and say, you are abusing me. That's what it is. Uh, I'll just go kill myself. Whoa, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Perfect. Why does he? I'm not kidding. It's every two minutes. Whoa. Why is she doing that? I don't know. It's it's non-stop with this. It's non-stop. Always back to the same spot. It never... It's such an autistic tick that he has to constantly do this. Whoa! Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, April. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, whoa. Jeez. Hey, whoa. The thing about men. I mean, holy fuck. Uh, Plaid Corp says every two seconds you're pausing. I mean, that's my show. You're here every day complaining about it. So we're both stuck in a loop. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around. And thanks for commenting uh, in the chat. Keep the uh, chats per minute going. It all helps. Professionally. Do you understand? Like, women don't understand this. That's abusive. Like, that's abusing men. Right? I w- Moving it again. I would yeah. never do that to myself in front of you. <laughs> I, I, there's so many great faces. I can't stop. Do you understand? I couldn't stop pausing if I wanted to. I couldn't stop pausing this if I wanted to. Like that's abusing men. Right I would there. never do that to myself in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I mean, we're not supposed to watch this three times? Get out. I don't want to be in that world. Like, that's abusing men. Right I would there. never do that to myself in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't live without that. Thank God you do it in secret. I, I mean, are these alcoholic drinks? I mean, they're just guzzling. They're like passively aggressively insulting each other and then just guzzling these hard seltzers like what's going on we do that thing where like you know how barn cats when they're gonna die like i had my- you know how like when barn cats are gonna die no no first of all i i doubt many people here are cat people we tend to shoo them away very quick quick around here Barn cat people? I don't know any barn cat people. You know how barn cat new, no, new. No. I don't know. If you're using barn as an adjective to describe something else, uh, I, I know barn as a noun. Like, it's over there by the barn. I don't know anything about barn cats or barn turtles or barn horses, barn pigs. Barn children, barn cat. Okay, go on. My favorite barn cat, Stormy. My favorite barn cat. Yeah, this is Max Salad behavior. As a kid? Yeah. I had him for many, many years, and he was a good cat. But he was a tom cat, and he's tough. So when he got cancer once and was eating him from the outside in, I mean inside out. And yeah, the outside in. Eventually, yeah. He didn't die in front of me. He ran off to die somewhere, and I never saw him. Okay. I would you, do that move. You would do that? Yeah. Okay, but how long do I have to look for you before I go fuck somebody else? What is this show now? Um, I also grew up in Florida. We had a barn and um, probably had a barn cat, so I'm... There's a lot of acting I'm doing over here. And not you feel don't. guilty. I never looked for him. I knew he died. Wow, you're a piece I never looked for him. Piece of shit cat you, owner. You're not, no, you're not supposed to go look for them. They did that to, like, be private and stuff. So you don't have to wait. <laughs> what she's telling him is basically if she goes hunting one afternoon and doesn't come home on time, he can fuck around. <laughs> You don't have to wait. Don't go looking. Just fuck. <laughs> just do. If I don't come home, please, please save yourself. Don't even wait. Uh, thank you very much to NoPen15 Fathead for 10 bucks over on PayPal. Hey, boys and girls, we're only 140 away from overtime. Uh, this show will be evidence someday, says Loaded Wrench. <laughs> no, you wouldn't believe it. We're doing very well right now. He looks at her. We're doing very well right now. She's looking down, playing with her pen like she's been doing for an hour and a half on this show. We're doing pretty good right now, right? Say something. No, you wouldn't believe it. We're doing very well right now. I feel like. Oh, there's a little micro expression here. We're going to need to do a Melton Zoom. Watch this little micro expression when he says we're doing very well. No, you wouldn't believe it. We're doing very well right now. I feel like. Did you see the eyebrows go up? No, you wouldn't believe it. We're doing very well right now. I feel like this is fantastic. (laughs) The fight was retarded. He can't apologize. This is this is like tantamount to an apology for him. I mean, he can't just say, I'm sorry. He just keeps going, it was dumb. It's over now. We're good. Well, the staring, the amount of silence. Fantastic. The fight was retarded. You're giving my lost interest a clip right now. <laughs> and then you're giving Melton a... Oh, no. Chad, Kate, Kevin, Steeltoe. 
everything gets run through this Melton filter. You're giving my lost interest a clip right now. <laughs> and then you're giving Melton a, I told you they weren't going to divorce. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? <laughs> Not sad. I just called it. <laughs> I'm not celebrating. I told you they weren't getting divorced. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? <laughs> told you they weren't getting divorced. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? I told you they weren't getting divorced. <laughs> yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? I told you they weren't getting divorced. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? I told you they weren't. Just a clip right now. <laughs> and then you're giving Melton a. I told you they weren't getting divorced. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? Ooh. <laughs> what the fuck? What in the fuck? I told you they were going to get divorced. Is that, is that what I'm like? I told you they weren't getting divorced. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? She does the same thing Kate Meany does. See, Melton, I'm a good reader. See, Melton. Right, Melton! Right, Melton! Sorry! It's like, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, God, it's so good. Linky, member for nine months. Thank you so much. Uh, Mrs. C says he's intubated and he'll be excavated. So that's good. Balls Deep says K. Five-month member. Thank you, Dayla. And Spurk Snake. Nine months has it been. Happy Friday to all you lovely people. Movie is falling uh, movie is failing in a very slow but spectacular fashion. I needed this today. Love you, Schmoopy. Get well, get well soon. We want you to get well. <laughs> Not today, but someday. You think so? I don't know. You think it's so, probably how, I, how long? I'm so sick of trying to predict anything in my life anymore. Wait so. a minute. I mean, this shows you. Like, the plan just hasn't worked out. He started doing great once they left Terrestrial Radio so well. 33,000 members on Twitch. He told her, like, you don't have to work. Believe it or not, like, I'm making enough. Come help out with the show a little bit, but be a stay-at-home mom. You don't have to work. You're my queen. You're my princess. Well, we're going to run this radio empire. I mean, cut to now. It's just falling apart. It's not doing well. And now she lets this slip. I'm done trying to predict anything in my life. <laughs> oh no instability is not the sign of a healthy thing it. fucking stupid how long though i would never predict anything anymore how long is the divorce tell me that anything is worth predicting in life Ooh. and the be and the worst part is you know you live in minnesota like this should be a simple life you're simple people simple minded living in a simple town with simple folk you need to make a very simple, basic income to live. Um, when did this start falling apart? She's like, I can't even predict anything anymore. When, when It's not even worth it. Why try? You have a far Think about more... everything that is in our life ever going on, good or bad right now, and tell me you would have predicted any of it. So just a little window starting to crack here, opening. What are they talking about? Tell me that you could have predicted anything going on in our life, good or bad, right now. What's going on? Here's my thing. Here's where exactly. you and I. Here's where you and I are. Exactly. So something's going on. I think we're gonna hear it, but you gotta really, really listen to pick up on it. Remarkably different. <clears throat> I only see the good things in my life, and when you see good things, you have to immediately counter them and find a bad thing. So this explains a lot of movies outlook in a show. We're growing. We have more viewers than ever. I don't know what you're talking about. He only sees good things. Your thing is oh, this. Oh, no, I don't. I don't want the bad no, thing to happen. Yes, yes you it do. It finds me, though. Subcon no, you find it. You're a bad thing hunter. So, so here he goes again, laying into her. It's your fault. You're negative. If you have a thing that's well, like. Well, you're right here. <laughs> 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 if you have a thing that's like level 10 good, you have to take a level. I don't know if I have any level 10 goods right now. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything that's level 10 good right now. 
if you, uh, this is a hypothetical. That's really hard to imagine. Here's a, it's hard to imagine something good. It's hard to imagine a level 10 good in her life right now. How April works. And guys, don't make April feel bad. Let her know this is all women. If April has a level 10 good, she has to she feels so guilty about having a level 10 good that she has to take a level 1 bad and make it a level 10 bad to counter the level 10 good and go, "See, mm. now this is just as confusing as prize night." Nothing good in can In fairness, stay. the level, the true level 10 bad things we have going on in our life, I did not ask for those. Okay, here we go. It's starting to crack. We're starting to get a view. To be fair, while well, she's tightening the knob, the level 10 bad things we have in our life right now, I did not ask for. Let's let's break that down. What could these things be? Hit that like button, okay? Pathetic, 94 likes. It's fucking pathetic. Train yourselves. Hit that like. The level 10 bad things I have in my life right now, I didn't ask for. So what, what are these things? Ex-wife, Ashley LaRue. The children that aren't hers that she has to scoop. I was watching the Citizen M uh, supercut today before the show. It's basically just him covering up the NLO logo with a Citizen M logo and playing my show. Um, it was a, they, they were talking about the eggy scrimp mess and the puke. And now she has to clean it up and Aaron doesn't like to wash his hands because who cares? Just crazy shit. And then cut to this. The level 10 bad things in my life right now, I didn't ask for. And then look at his face. Uh-oh. Did I do that? Ooh. Okay. And I did not wish them upon myself. I have z I don't know what you're talking I didn't wish them upon myself. The things that are bad in my life right now, I didn't ask for them, and I didn't wish them upon myself. Remember when she said to Chad uh, about Chad, I hope you never stop uh, tormenting him. Never leave him alone. She giggled and laughed. When it was her and her man on top of the world poking fun at everybody, she couldn't get enough. She squeed with delight and said, never leave Chad alone. This is so good. Then they, Chad got too personal, so they were like, we're done with Chad. Then they needed ratings, so now they're begging Chad to come back on the show now that they're under 2,000 views a day. And Gino runs over there like, no, their show's up and coming. I've got to wake up at 7 a.m. He's blown me off from my, Gino won't come on this show. Now he will, because like now he wants attention, but I tried to get Gino on this show forever ago during all the Chad Steel Toe stuff. He wouldn't do it. But he will wake up at 7 a.m. to go on Steel Toe and talk to 228 people on Rumble. Patrick, it says there's 800. Yeah. I didn't misspeak. Talking about because I have zero level 10 bad oh, things. Oh, really? Life. Yeah. Here we go. Because I could show you. Here we go. You ready to hear it? You got to pick up on this to really hear what the problem is. What are the problems? Is these kids? Is it the. Is it. The ex-wife? Listen to this. Gotta really listen. Fairness, the level, the true level 10 bad things we have going on in our life, I did not ask for those, and I did not wish them upon myself. I have z I don't know what you're talking about because I have zero level 10 bad oh, things. Oh, really? Life. Yeah. Because I could show you a whole stack of level 10 bad upstairs. To me. Hear it? I could show you a whole stack of level 10 bad things upstairs. Now, what do people describe in stacks, particularly Midwestern dopes? 
Bills. Angry Chair has it. Bills. Bills. I have a stack of level 10 bad things upstairs piling up. Oh, oh, what? A stack of bills piling up. And she's letting this out on the show. I mean, this is this. The people who sent this to me, I think it was Balls Deep, who's one of their mods. So thank you, Balls Deep. Holy shit. All their mods are still like their mods and their friends, Little Lemmy and Citizen M and Stevie Lou and Bowles Deep. They're all like still over there mods them, but they're also like sending me like, holy shit, dude, you gotta see this. It's like, whoa, whoa, talk about barn cats. I have a stack of negative 10 things piling up. And beloved chatter makes a good point. It could be a stack of Puffy baby ducks pancakes. I have a stack of puffy baby baby ducks boy pancakes. <laughs> a stack. It's bills. It's bills. What else could it be? I mean, let's not let's not beat around the bush. This isn't speculation. This isn't far fetched. It's bills. It has to be. And April is stressed, and she can't predict the future anymore. They can't afford a $77 flight to Florida. It's going bad. It's going real bad. So here it is all, all the way through one more time. In her life, I did not ask for those, and I did not wish them upon myself. I have ze- I don't know what you're talking about because I have zero level. T- and also, did he did he buy a truck or something? Did he take out a loan? Are they paying for the roof? She didn't ask for it, but now they have stacks of bills piling up. What? Ten bad oh, things really? Yeah. Because I could show you a whole stack of level 10 bad upstairs. To me, that's a level four. A whole stack upstairs. That's insane. That's a level four. That is insane. I'm an optimistic person. No, I think that's just a matter of perception. It's a level four. A level 10 is like you died. Or like one nah, of the, I could hit level 10 a lot sooner than that. Like one of your kids dies or you die. That's a level 10. Uh, level, one of those, like, if you're looking at me, I don't know. Now, what was that? That is something right there. Uh, level, one of those, like... If you're looking at me, I don't know. If I, I would say is something wrong with his kids. I, I feel like there's something right there that gets squash. One of your kids dies or you die. That's a level ten. Uh, level one of those like. If you're looking at me, I don't know. I'd love to know thoughts on that in the comments. If I, I would say a dog dying is a level six. And then I would say the thing you're talking about is a level four. That's because matter, that's just that something, is absolutely a matter of perception. Because that's something. Well, yes, that. But that's my whole my argument that is I'm an is optimist like, and you're a pessimist. That to me is like a ruining my life right now kind of thing. No. So the whatever the stack of thing upstairs is, it's ruining her life right now. What is it? It's ruining her life right now. I'm an like, optimist and you're a pessimist. That to me is like a ruining my life right now kind of thing. No. So April is unhappy. April is upset. April has to deal with a lot of stuff she didn't ask for or cause. I mean, this is, it's coming out. And everybody's calling it the limp wrist warning. Yeah. Oh, see that? You let you let yourself do that. You do that to yourself. Look at your I- Okay, Aaron. Oh, <laughs> kind of thing. No, see that you let you let yourself do that. You do that to yourself. Okay, Aaron. Optimists and pessimists are completely different people. All right. I- so 
So she's done with the argument. She wants to move on, but he's not picking up on that. He's got to drill her that she's hysterical and really hammer it home that he's right here. Optimists understand that you let things, you give things the power. Yeah, pessimists very much like see a bad thing and they're like, wow, this is really, really fucking shitty. And they're pleasantly surprised when it doesn't go that shittily. Right, but then they think shittily until that thing okay. is resolved. The you know what optimists, optimists do? Optimists sit there and like, oh, la da nothing bad's happening, really. And then everything shits the bed and like, oh, shit. No. So this is their life. I mean, if you think we're not getting an, a, 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 an unbridled view of their internal life right now you're crazy i mean this is this is as real as it gets i mean this is a couple that is going through something and they don't even agree on the severity of what it is they're going through april is like we have bills piling up and we cannot pay them money is going down money is going down money is going down think about this they both have car leases gym memberships a new roof they want to do hats one day. They can't afford it right now, but one day they want to do hats. Nobody likes onions.com slash store. Don't forget we got all new stuff, not just the stuff you see here, um, which will be gone, you know, when the winter's over. So grab your your warm stuff. People loving this Cardiff's kids, uh Nanerpus Warhol stuff. I mean, that hoodie looks so sharp. Um What's his name's wife has one. Brian Johnson's wife has one. It looks great. It looks great, even on that old frump. I just want to see if he's watching. You can call me man or person. How I find out if people are watching, I insult their wives live. <laughs> see if they go, hey. More she'll probably pipe up. Oh, an optic like Anne Marie, is that her is that her? Mist usually avoids the shitting the bed part because they're not no, staring at the ditch the entire time. I don't agree. I, I just love this. Really? And then everything shits the bed and like, oh shit. No, an optimist usually avoids the shitting the bed part because they're not no, staring at the ditch the entire time. I don't agree. I, I think some shit agree. just happens. I am an optimist and I'm a happier person than you. I ignore all the bills and you have to pay them. Fine. I'm that's but that's what I'm saying. It's because of the way I look at things. It's not because that's of that's fine. You're probably right. It's not because of my life or anything else. I've it's, always kind of felt like Rebel Fluff, like April's a cynic, not a pessimist. I kind of feel that way. Yeah, they're both they're the same thing. I don't know if they're the same. A thing. cynic and a pessimist are the same thing. No, if you can't be like to me, if I couldn't be an optimist, I don't want to live. And Aaron truly is an optimist. I mean, he has his. You know, entire ostrich head buried in the sand. La, 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 la. This is fine. Everything's on fire. You know, no, we have more viewers than we've ever had. A lot of people are loving the show on Twitter. It's like, you know, we can see Twitter, right? Like everyone's looking at his Twitter. There's no replies. There's no anything. It's like Chad. Chad will, like, tweet something, and, like, there'll be four replies, and they're all like, you're a loser, you're a fat felon, <laughs> like, they're, it's, and Chad's just deluding himself, like, yeah, these are fans, this is all fans do, it's like, yeah, man, yeah, man, everyone gets four replies, and they're all hate, everyone. <laughs> Like Sorry, if I can't that's think not a lot of good. people's uh, experiences in life, a lot of people go through some shit, and it does things to them, I'm... Glad for you that your shit that you've been through didn't do that to you. Right. I do feel like I'm very cynical, yeah. Everything that you think you are. April's, Mooby's hopeless. Mooby will always be able to trick another young, dumb, cum dumpster into marrying him. Her window's closing rapidly. She's not smart. She doesn't have a lot of skills. You know, you can't really get paid to hunt. You know, Cabela's isn't looking for a new... Um, empty-headed model for their lady catalog. So she had a good thing going at the factory. You know, she was probably making 19 to 22 an hour. She had insurance, 73 days without incident. <laughs> Things were going well, and 
she's watching her opportunities and alternatives slowly slip away and realize that, oh, the eggs that she put into this basket have all broken, and now they're starting to smell, and she's got to clean them up. And the money that was once flowing from a successful radio man who had gotten too edgy for the waves and was going to take to the Internet, now he's talking about going back to the Internet because the Internet started go, but going back to terrestrial because the Internet's not, nobody makes money on the Internet and there's no growth. So she's starting to go like, I do, I do, you do have to make a move here, April, like within the next two years or you shall become frump mom of the Midwest and be, it will just be the bottom of the barrel opportunities for you from there on out. And this goes for everyone is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. It's a choice you made. Watch that. Holy shit. He's told her that so much. She's not even listening and she resents it. Watch. I never seen her make this face. Watch this. Holy shit. I almost didn't catch that. Watch this. And this goes for everyone is a choice. Everything you think you Holy shit. I've never seen her do that. It's it's more than uh, dismissal. It's disdain. Watch how fast she flips these little eyelids. That you think you are, and this goes for everyone, is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. It's a choice. I mean, I've never seen I've never seen her do anything like that. What the fuck? Watch this. R? Yeah, it is. You're right. It's a retake. She's going, uh. she's making a retard face to mock what he's saying. Uh, I'm uh. She's heard this so much. She's heard this so fucking much. Watch your face. Hey, Aaron, this is your wife. This is your wife. Watch this, dog. And this goes for everyone is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. <laughs> ah, people are saying that's what they call the ick. Think you are. And this goes for everyone is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. It's a choice you made. I can't stop watching that. That's that's like involuntary hate. And this goes for everyone is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. It's a choice you made. People. That's a high school girl getting yelled at by a teacher. <laughs> oh. This goes for everyone is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. It's a choice you made. People, pessimists have this problem where they don't want to admit they're powerful because then they have to take ownership of every bad thing they Which think. Which one? Pessimists. Optimists know that they're as powerful as they want to be. And you're saying that pessimists don't want to admit power. Pessimists don't want to admit they have a lot of power because then they have to go, oh, I'm the one who made shit so negative and bad. No, sometimes people do throw shit at you in life that you 100% did not ask for. But then it's how you or handle like even it. Couldn't <sighs> have been seen. Like the thing I'm referring to, never saw that coming. Not even one time. I could see it somehow. That's some a difference. Way. I never would have. What's happening to them? What are they talking about? What has happened? I've been seeing, like the thing I'm referring to, never saw. Th the thing I'm referring to, I never saw this coming. What happened? But or, then it's how you or handle like even it. couldn't have been seen, like the thing I'm referring to, never saw that coming. Not even one time. I could see it. Somehow, that's some a difference. Way. I never would have. So that's why it rocks me so hard. Because holy fucking shit. I am April's getting rocked so hard. Okay. Oh. Anticipate all things. It's like if I if you went in into the doctor and you think you're in stellar health and they suddenly tell you, yeah, you've got stage four pancreatic cancer. Is there something wrong medically with April? What's happening? Is the house being foreclosed on? Yeah, is there a secret child? What's going on? Okay, but here's that what was I, the same surprise for me. Here's how I. It was the same surprise for me. Approach stage four pancreatic cancer. Is I go, okay, I freak out for a long time, and then I go, 
okay, what do we do now? Let's what, let's get on the road to fixing this. What do we do? And then, like, the worst case scenario is I die, right? So anything's better than that. So I hope for those things. Yeah, worst case for who? <laughs> Greg Arias says April found his gay porn stash, finally. God damn it, would that be a funny day? That would have been actually... That would have been a far better event than what I actually am dealing with. So it, I would have loved to find a humongous stash of porn, gay porn, right under our bed. Literally, is that the joke? You find a bunch of gay porn under my bed? Is that the joke? Because <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. That'd be a pretty good day for me. You find a bunch of gay porn under my bed? Is that the joke? Really, right under our bed with huge black dildos and everything with your name engraved in them. I mean, I'll show you all my. I gay would porn. have rather done that. I'll show you my gay. I would porn have rather endured either living as your beard or going through a divorce and letting you be who you really are. She would rat whatever they're going through. She would rather her husband be gay than this. I mean, what is happening with Rot Pocket? Rot Pockets. Than what I'm going through right now. I don't know, man. I'm what, is, going, what am I hearing? Do you hear that? That's the dog. I'm going through no, the same thing you're They're being swatted again. You're going through, and I'm just kind of going, eh, that'll take care of itself. The wheels are in motion. It's Now, this is what's funny. April thinks someone's breaking in upstairs, and watch the little, the little exchange about beer afterwards will sum up their whole relationship. Watch this. You let me know if you catch it. I'm not, I'm going to play it. I'm not going to pause it. You let me know if you catch it. It's all good. That's the TV. Sounds like there's people upstairs. I don't like that. Do you want me to go check it out? No. Do you I, want me to go see? I'm going to go get a beer. And oh, I'll see. fine. Then I'll go get a beer after you. All right. Sid Seraph with 1999 says. What did you catch? Now, first of all. Yes, it's very funny that he did the boxing move. Do you want me to go upstairs and check it out? But that's not it. He said, I'm going to go upstairs and I'll get a beer. Now, yeah, he needs alcohol. But then she says, then I'll go upstairs and I'll get a beer. They're at the point where they both want a beer. Neither one's going to bring the other one a beer. They're both going to, you'll go get a beer. And then when you come back, I'll go get a beer. That way we can maximize time apart. You want me to go up and get a beer? She doesn't say, get me a beer, too. She says, when you come back, I'll go get a beer. What in the fuck? And again, these guys drink every night. You know, they call me a drunk. Everyone calls me a drunk. I rarely drink. I think I had five drinks in, uh, in Hawaii. The whole 10 days. I'll go get a beer. Yeah, and then when you come back, I'll go get a beer. It's like, what the fuck? That's the TV. Sounds like there's people upstairs. I don't like that. Do you want me to go check it out? No. Do you I... want me to go see? I'm going to go get a beer. And oh, I'll see. Oh, fine. Then I'll go get a beer after you. All right. Sit, sir. Fine. Fine. Then I'll go get a beer after you. <laughs> you want me to go? You want me to go find out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, boxer. Rap with 1999 says, let's go. 125 away from tonight. If you guys want to keep that going, thank you very much. You can get an extra half hour of this shit. Are you kidding uh, me? Yeah, but let's go where? Hell? If it's not, if this isn't fun anymore, should they be doing it? I mean,. Sid Seraph said, let's go. Yeah, but where? Hell? Oh, my Lord. And they leave the TV just blaring upstairs. <laughs> like, this is wild stuff. Where are we going? Like, to me, like, this is the difference between me and the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> she laughed out loud. And you're going to like the way you look. Is that? That's funny. I enjoy <laughs> she's so over it she's so over it you know the days of joking about fucking april were funny but like I, someone's gonna someone's gonna you know i don't know if it's gonna be chad or gino or ll cool lee but it's gonna be somebody i mean you think he's laying it down now i mean someone's gonna get in there this is going to fall apart. As far as I know, beloved chatter has a shot. 
enjoy this. I like That's this. That's really funny. What? The difference you between like me hell? and the world? No, I like this. I like talking about these things. Yeah, this is hell to her. She's telling you that. Stress? Yeah. That you don't have apparently and everybody else does, so we feel broken because you're so perfect? Holy actual shit. Like, holy actual shit. Is this really happening? Like, what in the fuck? Why would you all, why would you be doing this? Yeah. That you don't have apparently and everybody else does, so we feel broken because you're so perfect? But that you understand that you can't make that person feel shitty about being a positive I, no, person. No, I envy you somehow. I'm like, wow, it is incredible to watch this person never fall apart about anything because. You held him in a garage while he wept. He got suspended off Twitch, which is something that happens to e-girls and cam whores. And then he cried in a garage and you had to hold him. And then you have the audacity to say he never falls apart. <laughs> what? We watch these. I mean, this is falling apart. I don't know how your sweaters stay together, but, you know, th this thing is coming unraveled in the wash. As I truly do. But I think the things I fall apart over typically do matter. But they typically do work themselves out. Eventually. Because yeah, she's worrying about it and working it out. <laughs> but that doesn't mean people don't lose their but minds see, right away. But that's what I do. I have the, the foresight to go, okay, I've seen this movie before. This does work itself see, out. No, no, I haven't. That's the big difference. You've seen it. I have not. This is my first Rodeo, and I bet when you had your first one, you were fucked up too. But so this is the marriage? Children? Is she pregnant? Could she be pregnant? It's my first rodeo. When you had your first one, you were nervous too. Marriage or pregnancy? What are we talking about? I mean, is it pregnant? Is she pregnant? Because, wow, if we're bringing a... Somebody said it sounds like bankruptcy. Divorce. I thought she had her whole uterus ripped out. Is she able to get pregnant? Could this be pregnancy? I mean, wow. Hit that like button. Marriage. She's definitely pregnant. Bankruptcy. If so, he... Oh, hold on. Did, didn't Aaron have a vasectomy, somebody said? Oh no! Hello. Hey, dude. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna vote for lawsuit. I think Ashley Larue is coming for their asses. For what? More money, baby. Oh, she's drinking. They're saying she can't be pregnant. She's drinking. Yeah. See. Okay. So we can mark that off the list. Right. So it's so she's talking about marriage. Something with the marriage, maybe. Or or divorce or bankruptcy or a lawsuit or Yeah, agree, agreed. Stack up stack of papers, taxes. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to add my two cents. Have a good day, bro. Thank you. Yeah, maybe an audit. People are saying he had his tubes tied, so no baby. Okay. He had, his he had his tubes tied. But I didn't have someone older than me who'd been through it before to go look. Your parents or this anything? Be all right. They no didn't one. know what they've never been through that. What is going on? I mean, this is getting more and more cryptic. Let's play it. Play it back. I mean, what in the fuck? And I bet when you had your first one, you were fucked up too. But I didn't have someone older than me who'd been through it before to go look. Your parents or this anything? Be all right. They no didn't one. know what they've never been through that. Is it an audit? Nobody. We gotta, we gotta make it easy on what we're referencing here, by the way. We're talking um, about uh transitioning. Transitioning to a different gender.
Are they broke? What's what's happening? Hello. Hey, you know how uh, April and Aaron both went and got their drinks separately? Yeah. So I'm thinking, have you ever known pregnant chicks to pretend to be drinking booze? Where they're like at a party, they don't want to let people know they're pregnant yet, but they don't, you know, people don't want to, you don't want them to ask, why are you getting, why are you drinking, uh, yeah, not drinking booze? Not a bad theory, so, but I, knowing them, I think they'd be, they'd already be milking this for money somehow if she was pregnant. Ew. Right? All right, bye. <laughs> True. <laughs> bye. Yeah, I think I think if, if she was pregnant, they'd already be like, oh, uh, April's pregnant. We're going to need more money. We got to put up a baby meter. Hello? All right. That person left. So I, th I think they'd already be um, bankruptcy as a transition. They are broke. They might be selling the house. Lottery scam caught up with them. Even in the midst of the situation, they got a slide and a tranny joke. 100% the baby goal. Yeah, I don't think it's pregnancy because they they really would uh, be already nine months of milking, if you know what I mean. Hello? That, I think it's uh, 10 months later, but I do believe that this might be the Minnesota Attorney General coming down on Pride <laughs> no, night. No, no, I don't think so. I doubt that. Hello. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Starbucks ambassador here. Hey, did you see that stuff about Kyle playing a man to win? No. Oh, Kevin destroyed him. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll have to it look. was great. You should have seen the thing. It yeah. was so Kevin I'll look into it. Um, okay. <laughs> so thorough Joe Burrow. Uh, it's happening. The OnlyFans window is closing, and they're a couple signatures away from April being a fancy free bird. It's anchor baby time for Steel Toe. I don't know if that's true. And I scream from the top of my lungs, what's going on? Super chats are down. Memberships are down. My testosterone is down. Your love for me is down. Our income is down. Our outgo is up. My hairline is back. My dick is shrinking. <laughs> And I couldn't look any more like Gumball than I do right now. That's what's going on. And I say, hey, 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 hey. I said, hey, uh, eh, what's going on? <laughs> and I say, hey, 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 hey. I said, hey, uh, what's going on? Oh, God. I love him, the four non blondes. Oh, God. I woke up in the morning with a stack of pills and I headed down to see my pill of a husband. I said, what's going on? No, you, um, <laughs> here's the other thing about pessimists. They cling to their pessimism like it's an ally and they won't let you shake them loose oh my of it. Goodness. They won't let you do it. You can sit there and tell them about all the flowers and the trees and the birds and the bees and they'll go, you're a faggot. And then you'll go, well, I guess I'm a faggot. I mean, that's fine, but I, you know. I got a good outlook on shit. Uh, Paul R. Nelson says it's called he truly believes he's perfect despite all the evidence saying the opposite. I don't. I don't think I'm perfect I at all. I think there's a level of that you think you ha handle things perfectly. You think you handle things perfectly. Oh, my God. I didn't get this deep into the clip, but it just keeps getting better and better. Compared to other people. Yeah. No, I think, yeah. I, I think I demonstrably handle things better than some people. But I don't think all people know. There's a lot of people I watch and I go, holy shit, man, that's amazing. Would you say it would be an honest statement for you to believe that you handle everything better than I do? I mean, imagine doing this on air. Imagine letting this leak out on air. You're pretty much having your fight. B Smiley says the clock is ticking. Um, Yeah. Waiver, of course, uh, coming in. Be Smiley coming in. LL Cooley, it's tax season and Aaron's company is being audited. My guess, see at Hackamania. Could it be an audit? I don't know. Audit in January is kind of odd, no? No, you handle some things way better than I do. There's some name one. Some shit you handle far better than I do. I don't know what. I can't. I taking dick? No, not that. 
handle anything. negativity better than you do. You probably handle positivity better than That's I do. That's insane to say, though, because if it's something positive, you should. She's plucking her eyebrows out while this is going on. Are you watching that? Watch her. Shouldn't even need to handle it. It's just a really cool, positive I'm, thing. I'm an optimist. What are you handling if it's positive? I'm, no, you get, like, more, you get, like, more excited. I want to embrace a happy thing in my life? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's you, good. You embrace. Don't forget the stack. Yeah, what is it? Medical bills? Embrace happy things better than I do. And well, I'm, I'm not embrace I'm not going to go ahead and embrace a negative. And I face bad things better th way better than you do. That's so weird to hear. What? Just, just that like a handling of like a positive. Like I I don't see a positive as something to be handled. Like also she said she couldn't imagine a positive in her life right now. She said that earlier. I'm an optimist, so I assume the best is going to happen. So when it happens, I'm like, things are right. Okay, on. so then why, when you have a positive thing, do you think I handle it better than an optimist? Because would? you expect. That's insane. I'll, no, it's. I'm, I'm, what, if it's an audit, I think they're going to be in trouble because there's no way they know what the fuck they're doing. 100% right on this. Because you expect shitty, terrible things to happen. You convince yourself that you deserve it, that it's terrible, that it's awful. So then when a good thing happens, you're so thankful and you love it so much and you want to cling to it and yes, grab it. Yes, it feels it. like a warm blanket. Whereas I go. That's we're right on track. So you get to enjoy those moments more than I do. I don't get to enjoy them the way you do because I don't assume a bad thing's going to happen. It, on the flip side, I handle a better a bad thing better than you because I go, oh, this will turn into a positive pretty quick. We'll be fine. This will turn into a positive. I mean, negatives don't usually turn into positives. Fine. I, I, right? <laughs> I mean, he's not even using sound logic. He's just trying to confuse her to make her wrong. He has to be right. That's that's the goal here, not to belittle the other goal. <laughs> uh, Eddie S says JLP watching this somewhere, shaking his head in disgust. Beta. Who me? Who's beta? Me? I'm beta. Definitely me. I'm apparently. a little gay. A little gay. Oh. The chat says, oh, my God, stop. Ah, lady, you can can you shut up? I look, we're both being gay. OK, okay. so look, um, I had to watch that. It was a great clip. Let me check my email here so we don't get in trouble. Um, oh, he's the guy. Um, is uh, he's OK with me ranting about him. Look, it's fine. I just don't get mad if I don't read an email during the show. Sometimes I forget, and I'm not checking email. Get over it. You, s He's like, I didn't expect a reply back. It's just that you didn't. It's like you called me rude. I'm, I was just busy. I'm not rude. I, I, I Calm down, everybody. Stop. It's not you. I don't know you, so I'm not trying to be mean to you. Like, stop assigning that much intention to everything. It's really disgusting and needy, and you should get over that. Be more like Tiff. All right, so I gotta, I gotta show you what came in yesterday that I was giddy about, and um, we'll do it while they're live because I know April might. She's privated this before, and it's back to unprivate, and it's back in the open. And boy, is there something going on! That is unfucking real. That is public information. If you have been looking, and uh, someone sent this in, I don't know if they want credit. If they're in the chat, they can take credit for it. I don't want to give anything away. Um, I've always told this person, I, you know, confidence, and that's what I try to do here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, April M. Halt has unprivated and started using her Pinterest again. And while it's funny to go through all the shrimp recipes and nail designs, because God knows we all want to know what a poor woman gets for a feature nail. There's a new... Stella says you're welcome. It was Stella. There's a new uh, little Pinterest notebook album here. And I'm going to let 
you see how quickly you can find it. Anybody see it yet? Anything popping out of interest? Now, again, she's only been using this for a few weeks. Again. Does anybody see it? Does anyone see it yet? It's right here. And it's wild. It's Aaron's tattoo ideas. <laughs> Bink. Aaron's tattoo ideas. Oh, no. No, no, no. Aaron thinking about getting a sleeve like his girl. Now, it's bad enough when you have an album called Bird Tattoo Ideas, okay? I mean, hello. Hello, that's funny. So she wants more tattoos. She wants tiny tattoos. She's been, you know, they, she stopped using this when we made fun of it last year, but she's recently just in the past couple weeks, started using it again. And this is in the past week. Aaron's tattoo ideas. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you learn. Are we saving this for one he wins? When's he going to win one? He's, he's fought twice, and now he teaches. He fought twice, he lost, and now he teaches. So sometimes you win, sometimes you learn lean. <laughs> Aaron's tattoo ideas. Can you fucking believe it? Can you believe it? It's the fucking hackiest things in the world. Please get an old timey microphone on your arm, you weird loser. Please get an old timey microphone on your arm, loser. What the fuck? He has two ideas. It's it's boxing gloves and an old timey microphone. <laughs> oh, what? What? Kumia's logo. Yeah, it's the most uninspired hack thing you could do as a comic. Oh, yeah, get the one with the fingers around it. That's dope. That's dope. Aaron Tattoo Ideas. Yeah, he, he, she has a million of them. He probably looks at them after they try to fuck. She probably, he probably looks at her tattoos like, so does it hurt? <laughs> Did it hurt? It's a needle, right? Ew. You think I should try to get one? And then like all the models are like these pasty, moopy skinned, <laughs> like, um, yeah, yeah. Clip that one. That's a possibility. Like what? Look at these goofy ones. Look at these cartoony goofy. Can you please get this with flowers? Tattoo ideas from Aaron. Flowers and cartoony boxing gloves. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you learn. <laughs> oh, no, ape. Come on. And then these are like realistic looking. Pretty cool. What about this? And this time around, I know what I'm fighting for. Yeah, what's that, Jimmy? Milk. Pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, can you believe this? And and look, she's working on this a week ago. She's working on this a week ago. So this is current. He wants a tattoo. He is currently 
thinking of ideas, and the only ideas he's thought of so far are an old-timey microphone or boxing gloves. And, and a lot of the designs feature flowers, so pretty cool. Oh, no. This is not a microphone or boxing. Forgot to live. I almost missed this one. I just saw this. This is not a microphone. This is not boxing gloves. This is a tombstone with flowers and hills of dirt. Forgot to live. I, if you discovered a male friend of yours, wow, wow. So, yeah, I, um, look, I know we haven't done an art contest in a long time. But if there was ever an assignment worthy of our attention, I think it's Aaron M. Holt's arm canvas. So I would like to propose that for next Friday, we take in your best designs and ideas for Aaron M. Holt's tattoo. Ah. Uh, you get, you're going to get a full week for this. A full week for this. Aaron M. Holt's tattoo. Um, a full week, a full week for this. There are two ways to enter this contest. Contest at nobodylikesonions.com. If you email it to another address, it won't count. I'm letting you know right now we're organizing this thing. Contest at nobodylikesonions.com. Or send it in once to the, to the art contest submission channel on uh our discord discord.gg slash nlo all these links are in the uh are in the description of the show on youtube or on our website nobody likes onions.com uh contest at nobody likes onions.com get it in and uh the art contest submission channel on the discord do not ask questions about why you can't see what you sent in to the submissions channel it's blind it's a it's an inbox. You drop it in and you can't see it. You can't see other people's. Don't worry about it. Uh one week. We should get some really, really good ones out of this. Cause this is pathetic. These are this is not a lot of good ideas. And we really need some ideas for Aaron, especially after the interaction we just saw. I mean, there's gotta be a lot of stuff coming out soon about this couple surely anything medical would be milked by now right jesus christ milked uh flying oil can thank you for becoming a member of our program uh beloved chatter five dollars this marriage is at stage four removing the limp wristed tumor is the only path forward yeah, beloved chatter is very disturbed by the limp wrist such a referee what or just in guard whether whether in the boxing ring or the radio or uh, airwaves or uh, ultra or my own house, you know, like where you are, such a it's I hold court. My years of experience and success give me the opportunity to lecture small minds. Like April, I hide my insecurities wow. behind a mask of bravado and hubris. But lately, my gaslighting isn't working on the scrimp. I'm gonna have to start ramping up my campaign of propaganda to beat her into submission. I'm going to murder this bitch while he sleeps. That one where she, like, you're right. She made that retard face. Like, he was like, you got to control it. You make the decision to be miserable. And she was just like, it's like, this is over, man. I don't know. I don't know if he ever even sees that. Those little, little micro expressions. Aaron's makes. stack of gay porn is ruining our marriage. He sits there every day watching volume one through eight of twinks and hunting vests. April. If you didn't have tits like a man in a rot pocket that smells like an asshole, I wouldn't be gay. You're not the only one in this house that can take a mile of dick. 
Uh, Jason Bentley, fifty dollars. Uh, I'm working this morning, so I'm in and out. But did I hear something uh, earlier about having Gino on? I can't handle Chad on one show and Gino on another. Pat Dixon is all I have left. No, Gino's on. Uh, no, I'm saying Gino's like afraid to come on this show. He asked twice, like, "Oh, uh, when? Uh, when? Uh, yeah, yeah." So no worries. Again, I can't work with people like Gino and Stevie who can't like communicate. It's like, imagine trying to book these guys for something. Like, they'll go like, oh, I can't really answer right now. It's like, okay, well, let me know when the work's over. And then. Also, like, if this is a work, like, how long do you guys let it just simmer? When's the big payoff? Cool work. Oh, God, it's gone. I know a guy who can really do the cool work. Remember that? Cool work. Um, what else we got in a, I don't want to vacation nails, <laughs> vacation nails for April. What are the difference between vacation nails and home nails? Like these aren't good for cleaning up scrimp and eggs. Vacation nails. Okay. Tiny tattoo ideas. Die with memories, not dreams. <laughs> so kill all your dreams and die with your memories. She really wants another cross. I wish we could go to our, go to our old church. I wish we could go to our old church. Bird tattoo ideas. Bird tattoo ideas. April looks like a cool bird. Where is that clip? April looks like a cool bird. April looks like a really cool bird today. <laughs> yeah, that's why we want the bird tattoo ideas. April looks like a really cool bird today. <laughs> oh, God, it's just getting It's getting too good. Bird tattoo ideas. She wants a cardinal or a mallard. She hasn't decided yet. Either a duck or a cardinal. It's tough. Like, ducks are cool, but cardinals are also cool. I could go with a crane or an egret. I was thinking about maybe a muscovy. I mean, what in the fuck? Where? Where is she going to put this bird next to her snatch? She wants a tiny tattoo. She wants a bird nature tattoo ideas. Doesn't she already have, like, full sleeves? It's a loon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie character outfits 20 weeks ago. <laughs> oh no what in the fuck movie character outfits and it's just Ron Burgundy <laughs> what? it's so weird wedding glam a year ago wedding glam So she re she just recently just decided to start Pinteresting again. So she wants a sunflower, a duck, and Aaron wants a microphone or a boxing glove on his titty. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. 
milk. April wants to go out and do shit, and Mubi is lame. Is that true? Maybe that is true. I'm so, Jason Bentley. You know, have a little faith. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. If you're too poor for a funeral, use a two liter for an urn. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. If you're too poor for a funeral, use two liter for an urn. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, Stella, for sending that in. I mean, just... We're going to need to see the new tattoo ideas. Uh, deadline for this is, of course, um, going to be midnight uh, on Friday. That's Friday morning before the show. Thursday night. Friday morning, midnight. And then and then they did a show today with Gino, but I imagine they were only on for, oh, he was only on for three minutes. Three fucking minutes with Gino. Okay, hold on. And hey, buddy. Good. All right. There you go. There was no song or anything. This is just how it started. On. This is the he gave us the I love you virus. That's what Trucker Johnny did. And it's and by the way, it's not Trucker Johnny. It just confused his name with who's Johnny. Trucker <laughs> 18, Trucker 18 wheeler. wheeler. I'm sorry. Of course. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Um, now I'm afraid to open anything. Is the is the chat back? I think I have to reopen my chat too. I'm sorry, everyone. I see the chat. I know, but I don't see. There we go. We're on YouTube, by the way. They want. They said no. We're not. They're being liars. Oh wait, yeah, we are. We're probably on YouTube again. We probably restarted the stream. <laughs> there be. Oh my god. Hold on. We'll get guys. We're gonna get it all fixed up. It's like a time bomb. I'm gonna say the end bomb in five and Dude, four. <laughs> my fuck. My Chrome. The last couple of days is just like I. I know that everybody wants to try to convince me Gino isn't retarded. Like, Gino loves to, like, go around acting like he's, like, got his wits about him. Like, you might be retarded, bro. Like, you guys can't stop just saying the N-word. Like, it, like it's become, like, a thing that you can't get away from. Like, you, it's the first thing on your mind. You've been on for 56 seconds. It's like the N-word. Like, no, you might you might just suck, dude. You might like not be good at comedy. You you might be fucking retarded and suck. Like this is your comedic mind. It's just nonstop inward, 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 inward. It's like it, it, it it's very weird. Like it never stops. No, it's cuz you get annoyed by it. It's like I don't get annoyed by it, but it feels like, you have nothing else in the tank. You take the good. You take the bad. You take them both, and then you have... Gino Bisconti. It's been shit. And it's not a memory thing. It's nothing like that. It's just been locking up and freezing up for eight months. It's not memory, but it locks up and freezes up. Again, God forbid, I bought a, 4, 000, a new $4,000 computer a few months back when was the last time you bought anything for the studio other than that cheap 49 dollar uh mic arm you know one time Corey adam or uh johnny crutches gave you johnny crutches gave him like uh some some 70 dollar headphones and he was like this is too much this is too much i'll sell these and put it towards the goal steel toe doesn't deserve this kind of stuff DK, 10 gifted memberships. Uh, thanks so much. It's going to help us. We're really down on memberships, man. I think because we just take a week off and people don't get, like, prompted to renew unless we're, like, doing a show. Or or we're just losing popularity. I mean, the show could We could just be going down in popularity. Maybe we're just not doing well as a program anymore. I mean, I, Kevin's down to $500 an episode. Maybe it's time we got down to, uh, we have $9 in Super Chats today. $9. Patrick, you have over 100 in Super Tips. Well, nobody's counting Super Tips. 
why aren't you counting super nymphs? I don't know. Moody hasn't built the thing that counts them yet. Even though I've asked for weeks. I have no idea how much I've made in super tips. Why would we need that function? Um, I, I need him to mention the N-word again in a three-minute video. If both of them could try to do an N-word joke in a three-minute video, it would make my life. It would make my life. Day after DK also 20 days away from uh DK can't stop mixing it up with Chad on the uh I mean holy shit. I hope we're gonna get a tape of this. I don't know if we are. The DK has to buy a ticket though, and then like it's gonna show his name. I don't know. Is it is it gonna be bad? It's gonna be bad. Tony Clifton, who I didn't even know was a fan of the show. Is that the real Tony Clifton? Get it? There was no real Tony Clifton. Um, no, Tony Clifton. You want to give me five gifts of membership? All right. I'm going to take it. I'll take your five gifts of membership. And I'll go down to the five gifts of membership. I'll take your five gifts of membership. Five gifts of membership to Tony Clifton. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow, 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 wow. Remember that? From the man in the Mizzou? The man in the Mizzou. And then another five from Orange Grove. Gro Gro Chad is going to be so paranoid about TK filming. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, thank you, DK, Tony Clifton, and Orange Goblin. 20 memberships right out of the. Right out of my pre cum hole. Right, pre come Hit the like button. You don't have to get a membership to uh, support the show, although we do um, appreciate it. $1.99. And we are a members-only program tonight, along with a uh, Chad Skype snipe. If Chad goes live today, we'll be sniping um, Chad, of course. Chad is so easy to work up. His flex with beat KB's protection is cringe on MLC. I mean, let him have it. Let him have it. Like I said, he's, we, we've lit, we're watching a guy who's literally was telling everybody, I'll never go back on MLC. Kevin's a bitch. $2,000 a show. I'll go back on to now going on MLC for no money. He says, I don't need money. I just go on MLC. Remember when he did the math and found out he was making 50 a show and he said that was insulting? Well, now he's willing to do it for free. Chad will go on MLC for free. And just in time, too, because Kevin is, you know, after YouTube fee isn't paying people out, he's making like 100 bucks a show. Um, If our math is right over in the Discord. Not not quite 600 a show minus YouTube's cut brings you down to like 350 400 You pay out Peng Dang. You pay out Chad. You pay out Adam. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Not much left in the old coffers for KB. So I'd be a little rattled, too, and I'd be losing my mind as well. Today, I keep having to shut down Chrome and restart it. Kevin was always like, Melton doesn't even, Melton doesn't have to pay anybody. Melton doesn't do And then he starts, that's probably a pretty good idea. That's probably a pretty good idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I don't not pay anyone because I don't because I'm cheap. I, I don't not pay anyone because I can't afford it. I can't afford. I, I'm lucky. I make two hundred bucks a day on this program. You know, again, why do you think I drive people to the merch to the overdose? This is the sustainable method. Ten bucks a month. And ten bucks a month. You know, you thought you want to be a baller, sending a fifty dollars super chat. You want to buy five memberships, ten memberships. I'll kiss your little hiney hole. I'll suck the ribbons of shit right out of your sphincter. Why is it ribbons, Patrick? I don't know. That's just what I pictured. <laughs> but that's not a sustainable way to live. I told you all this with Chandler, you know? Now, like, Chandler's missing. People are losing their mind. There was a clip on Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit. Um, I mean, do you want to see what Chandler does to people who depend on Chandler? He wrecks them. He wrecks them. Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit, which is pretty much a ghost town now. The Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit, but 
Um, this one was pretty good. Else goes towards Monday. Watch this. <laughs> what a weird, weird interaction here from Mooby and E. Scrimp. Patrick, E means and. Shut up. I, it's just, ah, California's a fucked up state. Uh, shovels the snow, mom taxi, April is the chit, says Sean. Uh, Gray, I, you know, at our house, it's, it's a race to shovel the snow. Like, if I'm home and she's not, I get out there as fast as I can, even if it's still snowing, so I can get it done. Usually, we end up doing it together because the other one won't let the other one just do it. But if one person isn't home, the other one almost likes to sneak it in. That's a lie if I've ever heard one. Do you think they both go out and shovel the snow? Why would you do that? Both of you go out and shovel the snow? That's probably a weird mental thing, isn't it? Uh, oh, look at David Chandler giving out the uh, P.O. box. Not money? Watch this. To Michael B. What, wait, what did Michael B. need? What did Michael B. need? Why did Michael B. need the uh, uh, P.O. box for? This is the same way he reacted when Citizen M. gave me their phone number to call into their show. Movie message Citizen M and was like, this is a betrayal. Don't ever give out our number. Again, just like Chad. Chad wants people to watch his show unless it's Melton or Melton's fans or trolls or anyone who's not going to appreciate the show for the brilliance that it is. Movie is the same way. Like, hold on. Somebody wants to mail us something? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Why? Hold on. Someone wants to call into the show? Who? Why? I'm going to have to screen that. We have a P.O. box. Mail in your shit. See if I give a shit. Send it in. Screen cap it. Get it in. 4948 Mountain Vista Street, number 13932. Las Vegas, Nevada, 89121. We'd love to have your shit. Somebody gives out the P.O. box in his chat room. He's like, whoa. What's going on? Why is he getting the P.O. box? Why does he need that? Why are you giving out our P.O. box? It's like, it's a P.O. box. Calm down. Who cares? It gets, it gets worse. Watch. Ooh, interesting. Michael B. says, what is the P.O. box? David Chandler sends it out. Steel Toe Media Incorporated, P.O. box 7893, St. Cloud, Minnesota, 56302. Thank you, David Chandler. Great segment. It's very kind of you. By the way, uh, Mr. Chandler, what do you think he's going to say here? By the way, Mr. Chandler. Watch what he says. Uh, Jim Harbaugh came by earlier. And uh, he not only knocked out today, he covered last night, and we said if that happened, we would go till noon tomorrow. So we're all wiped out for the day. Sit back, enjoy the show. We got nothing left to do. Everything else goes towards Monday. By the way, David Chandler, we got a big donation earlier, so... Stand down. We said if we got that, we would do till 1230 tomorrow. So enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. You relax, David Chandler. Hey, David Chandler, you don't have to give today. It's like, what an asshole. What an assumption. David Chandler, I see you probably getting your wallet out right now. Not today. Just so you know, someone else came by and gave today. The pressure's off you, David Chandler. Ugh. So pathetic. So fucking weird. Uh, Chandler says he asked. No, I know. That's, no, it's good that you did that. 
is what I'm saying. Thank you. For send- we don't send out the P.O. box very much anymore. That's my fault. You don't have any listeners anymore. You don't send the P.O. box out very much anymore. Right. <laughs> right. It's not going well. It's not going well. I mean, fuck. This stuff with Chandler is like, it's pathetic. It's pathetic. The begging. They're like assuming he's there to give you money. Whoa, whoa. Why is Chandler giving out our P.O. box? (coughs) Chandler, you run it by us before you give out anything. Unless it's money to me. Chandler's dead. Chandler's dead. Let it go. <laughs> All right, hold on. Um, what else today do I have? Oh, we gotta do this. Uh, okay, we'll do a palate cleanser real quick. <laughs> <laughs> he come in his jeans. He come in his jeans. This is a palate cleanser I'm calling He Come in His Jeans. He Come in His Jeans. And uh, Kumia will love this one. He Come in His Jeans. Uh, This is courtesy of Hispanic Sean King on Twitter. He Come in His Jeans. He Come in His Jeans. Some semen in his jeans. He's very excited. He has climax. Hold on. He's excited. Fuck. All right. Look, it's just something I saw on Twitter. It's a. It's called a palate cleanser. We just do a fast one. He come in his jeans. Look at that. She twerked on him, and he came in his pants. <laughs> so you know at least you're not, at least you're not that guy at least you're not that guy all right bauer <laughs> he called in his pants he called in his pants yes he did yes he did ball powder is very mad he's like we've seen this a hundred times who's we you and your family i've seen it like 30 and it's Funny every time. It's funny just to have a black man screaming over a sound system. He come in his pants. He come in his pants. He released semen in his jeans. <laughs> um. Okay, it's happening. Everything we've control. ever wanted from Bauer is finally happening. And it's the highest resolution Bauer you've ever seen in your life. So get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, episode one, motivational energy ahead, walk and talk. Here we go. Oh, my. First of all, like, imagine, like, every time something came on TV or the Internet, you were like, I've seen this. <gasps> it's like, I mean, wait three minutes and it'll be over. Now it's over. Is everything okay? (laughs) I've already seen this commercial. (laughs) Thanks for registering your... Gosh, it's happening. My first official walkie... Who puts an H in first? 
talkie vlog. I was able to pick up a lavalier microphone and attach it. I got it for under 10 bucks. He walks like those wind up toys that, you know, just back and forth, back and forth. And it seems to be working with my phone. So hopefully there's no audio issues. If there is, you probably ain't even gonna see this video. Um, maybe the audio is too loud. Maybe it's too wide. God forbid you do it. A quick test. I do not know. But here we are. I've had so many fears about doing this. Why? For many, many reasons. I mean, fuck. Um, but it's good to get out and to start your day. He's in the landing path of the Van Nuys Airport. Get him! With a walk. I may get tired. I may. May? Do a lot of various things, guys, while we do this walking talk. Cryptic? So, let's see what happens. I don't know how far I'll get. Um, cause my toe was hurting today. My toe was hurt. He's already making excuses. Guys, I don't know if I'll be able to finish. My toe is really when I woke acting up. Up cause I've been doing a little bit of exercise in the apartment. And I actually had to walk already about a good distance away. So I wouldn't reveal too much of the neighborhood. I mean, he definitely lives in that building right behind him, right? He's, he's trying to act like he walked away from his house. Like I'm not near my house anymore. I had to get, I had to go away from my house a little bit. So it's secretive that I live in. Cause I am afraid of everybody <laughs> trying to, I don't know, harass me or do something to me. No one wants to hurt you. No one. But those are fears that we should all just get rid of and not worry about because you can't control any of that stuff in life. Mm. But that being said, here we are. And it's been a whirlwind of a couple of weeks, guys. These walkie talkies. Like fucking outtakes from Requiem from a Dream. This is making me dizzy. These are going to be ways for me to vent. Talk about my frustration. Donna. Hopefully not Donna, complain Donna. too much. But Donna, talk about Donna. the world that's going on around Donna, me. Donna, 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 um, Donna. Dun, 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 dun. Just let loose. Dun, 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 dun. A black cat running in front of me. Dun, 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 Great dun, 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 black cat. What does that mean in the world? But um, so yeah, I've been hurting a little bit. Juice by Michael. Because I've been getting exercise <laughs> and doing a bunch of things to try to better my life, my situation. Um, because financially. And again, like I said, this walkie-talkie is going to be a way for me to just tell you the truth and not be a character and just be myself. But financially, guys, you know, it's, it's just it's not going well. Struggle to pay, to, pay, to pay the rent and the bills every month. Hi, Bonin. Boneman's back. You know, because I don't make as much money as I spend out uh, due to various reasons and everybody can blame me. I don't make as mon much money as I spend out. <laughs> Tell me you're a CPA without telling me you're a CPA. And everybody can say, get a job, do this, do that, be better. What, you, what is your spend out? You know, what would you say your spend out is every month? If you had to guess. Fatty Patty, I email, text, uh, use smoke signals, the Pony Express, and slide into Panhandler's DM all of the time. It's glorious, you fucking coward. Bike helmet.
Oh, no. All right, I just got an anonymous email here. It says, uh, regarding April. April one day said she had to send her mom a picture of a gash on her side. And she was very worried of what her mom was going to say about it. Maybe that has something to do with her dilemma. A gash on her side? I don't think they can move it. A gash. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what that's going to indicate, but it's terrifying. Brack to Brower. I get it. I hear you. Did you get stabbed by Stabby C? Aaron stabbed her? But not everybody's situation is the same. Some people choose to live the artistic lifestyle. Some people know that they're going to be broke and poor most of their life. And they have to live off the support, as in my case, through friends or fans. Um, Look, I chose to be an artist, so I have to live off fans. Um, and YouTube and monetization. I can't take his this little spit on his lip anymore i mean watch every time he closes his mouth with his fucking donkey teeth it's not just the lips it's the teeth donkey lips donkey teeth this little spit nugget i mean it just keeps it's getting disgusting to watch Jim. it's like i mean did you just finish a bunch of pudding why is it constantly just, again, cougar cheesing every time you open your mouth? They got the chemtrails. Oh, here we go with the chemtrails. Out this morning. Out here. Get that spit off your lip. Get that spit off your lip. <laughs> here in Cali, California, California. I mean, he thinks... It, <laughs> He thinks contrails are chemtrails. He thinks like Delta 747s are spraying chemicals on him. So clearly they're dosing us. <laughs> Who knows what they're putting upon us? I mean, nothing, nothing. It's condensation. I mean, what are we doing? To mess with our lungs and our bodies. That's what happened to you? The Southwest Airlines. Not, not just a lifetime of breathing Doritos dust in through a tube. But yeah, I have to monetize my life. I have to monetize my life. Ba -ba -ba bucks. I just did an Instagram live stream the other day for my first time. That was interesting. Um, that Clean that spit off your lip. Wipe your mouth. Had a couple of friends or fans on there. That was kind of cool. Um... But I don't know if you can monetize on Instagram, you know, earn a couple of dollars or something like that. Because, like I said, that's how I have to live. So, pretty interesting, guys. It isn't. And then also, I had a couple of... I, I can't keep watching that drop of spit on his lip. Please wipe your lip. TV show auditions this past week. That's right, my new agent, my new manager are getting me some auditions for small parts. Um, I can't name the show. I don't even know if I got the role, but I, I can't really name it. Um, I'm just afraid about, I don't know why. CSI Canoga Park.
one of the shows was called Hacks. Uh, it's a Las Vegas show about these two comedian women. Oh my God, he's going to be on HBO Max's Hacks. And that was a good audition. And then the other one was a pilot, like for a new show. I forgot the name of it. It's called Really There, something like that. He's had that drop of spit on his lips since he started, and I can't. I can't. It's so disgusting because, you know, it's just, like, drying on his lip. But uh, it's nice to get out there and have a couple of auditions, guys, you know, to feel like an actor again. It's an honor just to be nominated, creaminated. Get some of the casting directors to at least see that I'm still alive (laughs) and I'm here. But all the casting directors... They're not always the same. They're not always the... And forgive all the airplanes and the audio, guys. We are close to an airport. I don't want to say much more than that. And it is the early morning, so there's going to be a lot of it. Uh... Trying to see landmarks and stuff. It's nice to, you know, get out there and do something with myself. See, guys, walking is even tough for me. But it's okay. At least we're doing something. Yay! Let's sing a little song because we're doing something. Top of the morning, getting outside, seeing the weather, getting your body right. Get some damn exercise and feel real good. Mikey's gonna walk in his neighborhood. Mikey's gonna chill. Mikey's gonna rant. Mikey's gonna tell you about his aunt who lives in Oklahoma, I think. Do I even have an aunt? I don't even know my family. (laughs) Mikey's gonna walk. Mikey's pretty fat. Time to head home, time to head on back. My toe hurts, I don't have any money. This pizza box looks cool, I'll hang it on my wall. Does anybody know about my dead dad? Time to cook tacos, I better flush the toilet. Uh, But it's nice to get out there and um, (laughs) audition for some TV shows. And do something. Uh, Hoping to get a role or two in the, in the coming future. Plus, it looks like you've had enough roles. Maybe the waiter should stop bringing you roles. Looking to have a role or two. I got a meeting with a convention agent later today. Convention agent. Yeah, we're thinking about holding our convention in Michael Ray Bauer this year. How many people can he hold? <laughs> a convention agent uh to hopefully be going to some conventions but the problem with that is 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 first logistics transportation tensile strength of carbon fiber off in my health every day is 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 different for me every day i'm huffling whether i can completely get out my financial situation ain't the best no, he's on a loop again. I'm talking about this. Um, my financial situation ain't always the best. I mean, we turn this block. Sorry, guys. Let's see if we can get to street side. But my financial situation ain't always the best. I don't have a car, and I used to at least have a car many years ago, and was able to go to the movie theater and go out a little bit. Um, Colin says, you know, in your own twisted way, Patrick, you're helping this guy out. What was he doing previous to this coverage? He actually could monetize all this a la stuttering. I mean, we tried to help him. He's not interested. He he doesn't want to make money. So that hasn't been the case. So it costs a lot of money and you need a lot of good help to get on. He'd rather bitch and sell VHS tapes for $60 to vaping Dago. Dad. In the middle of Little Italy, little did we know <laughs> that we riddled some middleman who didn't do diddly <laughs> on the bus 
and you need to be able to walk a ton to go out and do things and I just haven't really done that I tend to stay in, in the apartment and you guys know the rest so where am I going who even knows who knows not us sorry let me turn the street thing here make sure nobody's around guys I have to focus make sure nobody's around he's so paranoid he's so paranoid about it and do a lot of different things when I'm walking and talking we take a quick little break uh, uh. so yeah travel's been tough for me but I'm hoping this will give me some exercise and get me to feel in a little bit better and decent He'll take two walks and I'll be like, it didn't work. You know, I tried. I didn't notice a difference. I didn't lose any weight. Okay. And meanwhile, he's not showing you the bucket of cheese fries around his neck. Who knows? I got to have snacks. See if I can turn around. Turn around. Oh, he's going home already. Every now and then I get a little bit low. And it's stepping in the deep and you're right to turn around. What was that? Round. Every now. Okay, what am I doing? I'm weird. So I have a convention agent meeting later today, guys. And um, that'll be interesting. I just don't know how it works in all conventions. Sorry, guys. Just don't know how it works. What is this angle? He's like, I'm going to aim it at my chin and hope for the best. Works with all convention agents, to be quite honest with you, because I can't always afford to travel. So do they pay the hotel? Do they pay the travel? I don't know. I don't know what they do. No, 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 no. They don't pay anything. You have to pay them. <laughs> that was cool. That was interesting. Guy on his bike with music playing. That was interesting. A guy on his bike with music playing. Huh. No. No fucking way. Uh, so I don't know if the people running the convention pay uh, pay for my travel. Why wouldn't they? Uh, pay for my hotel. Pay for my autograph photos. Or if they give me a guarantee. Because I would hate to spend out of my pocket, which I don't really have anything in my pocket to do that. And I would hate for that to be the case. And then I don't make any money. Because I have had a bad experience or two at a couple of local conventions where I spent more than I made. And I can't afford that. But, but the reality of it is I'm not that famous. Yeah, we'd love to get him in Hackamania. That's a great idea. I mean... I can't, he won't even talk to me. I, I, I sent the guy over a hundred bucks in merch, a letter. I've tried to reach out. People have tried to reach out on my behalf. I would love to invite him to Hackamania. Travel, hotel, pay. No? There's no way to even get a hold of him. I mean, can somebody find out who his agent is for me? Um, because maybe we send an offer to his agent, you know, maybe we can get this done. Otherwise, I don't see how he's, he's like crazy Joe. He's un, untamable. You can't really corral him into anything. And even the people in Sharknado are more famous. Why am I on that side? Uh, than me to a lot of people. Because they have a recent fame and that works for them. So, it's just an interesting situation. It isn't. The convention circuit. So, that's why I have to tell you guys to hit that thumbs up, that like, that subscribe button. Consider becoming a member of this channel for a couple of bucks for exclusive content, early content like this, until it's officially released, and other stuff. Because I just started my podcast. 
I know it's not 100% professional. I don't officially know what I'm doing, but it's okay. That's one of the problems is I have a lot of anxiety and fears and I at least am trying something new, but I can't watch an hour of him doing this. You know, he'll be talking about the same thing. We skip here. We'll skip 20 minutes. Watch him. He'll be talking about the same shit and I haven't seen this. I'm just guessing. Just wave to the trash truck people. They have a hard job picking up trash. Or you won't get no spending cash. You ain't got to wait no more no more. I ain't going to rock and roll no more. Yeah. Did you just rhyme no more with no more and no more? Just checking. Gonna yeah, donkey lives your back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would hate for the podcast, you know, to get flagged again and then you know I, again i have to live off support and donations and okay. merchandise and stuff like that but it's okay we've talked enough about that i mean no shit what are we going to talk about next all right let's see if there's anything else that we can talk about let's see that's going on in the world i just recently watched um ted the TV series on Peacock, and that was really enjoyable. Okay, Ted, got it. I really, really enjoyed Seth MacFarlane's humor. I really, really did. Uh, you know, they have b bad Boston accents in that show. It's also overacting a bunch. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. It I'm a simple guy. Will you please take a drink of water? I can't anymore. 30 minutes of this spaghetti incident. I mean, get a drink it's too much with the spit with this viscousy thick spit made me laugh and it's one of the first comedies Let's see if I go. <laughs> this is gonna make people vomit i don't care i don't care uh, it's it's too extreme Walk across again. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe start heading back because I've been about 30 minutes walk walking. <sighs> but yeah, it, it, it's one of those comedies, no holds barred. I mean, do you think Peacock's Ted is a no-holds-barred comedy? I mean, I can almost guarantee you it ain't. It ain't. Where a lot of political humor, but it's set in the 90s. And so there's some retro nostalgia goodness. Retro nostalgia. And some jokes about today's culture that he brings up. And that, it was directed by him. Most of it's written by him. And, um... Pretty good, guys. No holds, Bard. Yes, if you're talking to Shakespeare about no holds. Boy, that sun is really good. I should probably stay here and bask in the sun. Uh, give me that energy, that beautiful sunlight that I never see. Vitamin D. Light, Vitamin D. Guide me home. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. A PDF. Like if you're going to have a PDF and give me a PDF, then there'll be too many PDFs. Hello. Hi, this is Sheila Aliens. And um, I felt that Donkey Lips was right when he said, uh, let me check my notes. Step into her to turn, to turn around. He was correct. And did you know there's another, like, connection blossoming in your, in your chat between Ian Hawk and Sheila Aliens? 
Hold on. What did you say that he was right about before we get to your love life? He said, step in to her to turn it to turn around. Step in, to, step in to her to, to turn it to turn around. <laughs> yes. Got it. He, if you replay it, <laughs> yes, if you replay it, and, that is correct what he said. And also, and so I, you, I think my voice sounds like, not, I'm sorry. You and uh, Ian really Hawk like, are going to scissor? Possibly. I also wanted to mention that Nat, Natalie, whatever her name is, last night I was listening to the whole thing. She sounds like me, and that disturbs me a little bit, but I'm not her. But also, yeah, me and Ian Hawk might scissor. How did, how did I you, might scissor. How did you and Ian Hawk get uh, hooked up? Through your chat and through your Discord, sir. And you're texting each other now or calling or what? We're Discording each other. And I'm am a renowned I am a renowned YouTuber with fifty thousand subscribers. Hold Forty seven thousand subscribers. Hold on. You're discording him? We're <laughs> we are discording each other and it's about to get naughtier. And hold on, but isn't yeah. he isn't he a married man? No. No, don't you worry about that. Don't worry about any of that. It's none of your business. Oh. I mean you called in to make it my but you're like called in to tell me it. <laughs> Oh, uh, never mind. It's you like not, call in to happening. tell me about that's your relationship, and I ask questions, <laughs> and you're like, "This is none of your business, asshole." It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know how much you know about him, but no, um, yeah, but no. So it's a divorce. Anyway, is he divorced now? Nope. Oh, wait, n none of my business. Tell. Wow, wow, this Stop is it. going really well. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I've already fucked myself. Anyway, hi, well, Ian Hawk. Then what do you need Ian for? Because he's cool. I like him. He's cool. He's a good He's a good Discord admin. He's a good Discord moderator. So humble keep him brag, Humble good. brag. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Love you. Wow. If you pay me, I will come. I don't do anything for free. Uh, but it's a pretty funny show. And then they got a little bit of humor for today's um, stuff as well, like politics and, and stuff. And it was just made me laugh, guys. Uh, just, I really recommend it, man. That type of humor is not around anymore. It's a new show on a streaming network. And Michael Ray Bauer is going like, he just don't make television like that anymore. This new show that just came out. They don't make it like that anymore. Except for until next season. When it comes out. Like the one that just came out. But they definitely don't make that anymore. And and I'm happy that NBC Peacock even allowed him to go that way. That came out. I think the Kingpin and Daredevil are in it. And I enjoy that. What the fuck? Oil, family, or money. Or something like that. So is she parading as a fraud? If she comes from money and stuff like that, and she's an actual sheik, if that's true, allegedly, I don't know. I got to look into it. Pretty interesting stuff, guys. Um, yeah, but that's what's going on. And then um, think of anything else she's going on that I can talk about. Hold on. Sheila aliens wanted a lot of attention here. Hit the like button. Talk about her YouTube channel. 50,000 what's in call it 47,000 subscriber you wanted it you wanted it let's have a look Sheila Aliens. Meow, dabble verse, dabbler, studying John Lowell Cow's funny humor cat. Howard Stern. Okay. Oh, no. She's another Opie. She's another Opie. 50,000 subscribers, 300 views on every video. She's another Opie.
He's another Corey Adam. Channel's growing like crazy. Can't get 300 views, you know. Oh, no. I will be tuning out until tomorrow. I mean, these are fake subscribers. You think we don't know? The wild thing is it's almost 8 million views. But on what? It's like Opie. It's like on what? Where are these views? This from this 12 years ago. Oh, she got all these views in her past life. But the channel's dead. Um, the channel's dead. All these stuff, all these recent videos, no views. But all these 12-year-old videos, million views. Glitches in the sky matrix caught on camera. Oh, no. Glitches in the sky matrix caught on camera, is it? Glitches in the sky matrix. Okay. 12 million views. What is it? Okay. So this chick been crazy. Good morning, everybody. This is Sheila Aliens, and today is September. Oh, no. It's Donkey Lips. Aliens in the sky called into in hello and now I don't know why. I thought it was a good idea, but now it seems like it's bad. Melton makes fun of me, it's the worst time I ever had. Ian Hawk can't save me. Now I'm fucked. They're combing through my thing. It's full of cats and ducks. Okay. Sorry, here we go. 6th, 2011. I have some videos I want to show you. This first one was recorded in 2009 in the UK. What I find weird about it is the orb in between the two streams of chemtrails. It's a dead pixel. Hello? Do you even watch an hello? It keeps perfect formation with them. like Almost like it's an invisible triangle leaving those lines in the sky. And what I find interesting is these lines behind the planes. I mean... I don't even see any chalk. And look how it cuts off. Contrail my ass. Contrail my ass. There's nothing about engines that starts and stops. Goes against everything I've ever seen in my life. Hello? Uh, yeah, boss. This is Ian Hawk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. That chick called in. I ain't never banged that whore. Wow. I got my, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got my eye on that there. She lay alien, though. She's got some nice big fucking she cheese. Okay. Well, this is inappropriate. We don't endorse this kind of talk. Hit the like button, okay? That's where we get most of our money. And just going straight up, they're basically. Drawing on the sky some bullshit. There's literally a fact check underneath it. <laughs> I just thought that was really weird. What is that orb doing there? Don't fucking worry about it, Sheila. This is how bitches get kidnapped and took and. A stray cat befriended our male kitten. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> I mean, 
phony cell towers intercepting calls. Yeah, Sheila Aliens. Watch Sheila Aliens. Oh, 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 Sheila Aliens. Oh, Sheila Aliens. I'm listening to Sheila. This is Sheila Aliens. Today is September 4th, 2014. Can I do There's your an article theme song? Popular science entitled Mysterious Phony Cell Phone Towers Could Be Intercepting Your Calls. So basically, there's. We do need more kooky Midwestern housewives telling us what's going on in the news. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm kidding, of course. Uh, Sheila Aliens, you're a valuable member of this community, and I only did that to roast you a little because why not? You know, why not have a little fun? Do we mention all the new stuff in the NLO store? Have you guys seen? Uh, we got the Bauer Raiders uh, shirt. This is all from Gummy Chainsaw. We got the Drunk Man Chad Zumok T, which also comes in the Air Zumok variety. And uh, we got Amazon's Spider Alamar forklift operator extraordinaire. Rick's employee T-shirts now available. And, of course, the Hack Flag T, Gino, KB, uh, Ray, and Chad. Hack flag. Pick it up along with all the other beautiful, beautiful stuff in our store now. Support the show and you'll look great doing it. I promise you, you're going to love that. You're going to like that. You're going to have. You're going to like the way you look. Whatever that guy said. Uh, this man's name is Crazy Joe. You heard of him? All right, I ain't got much time, okay? So I'm not going to fuck around here. Well, he just means in life. Fucking day long with you fucking jerk-offs. Um, it's just trying to get some more light here. So this is the deal. And this is something that I've been thinking about. And this is very fucking important on where I stand. Uh, with... Where I stand. And I'm not digging the scene in this country. Oh, no. And he's been singing this song for 10 years. I'm not digging the chocolatos taking over. <laughs> Black people are chocolatos. I don't like the chocolata. Sheila, we're just busting balls. You know that. We're glad you're here, and Ian's even more glad. The music business. I've had about enough of these chocolatos. I'm not digging the uh, woke, leftist, communist, Marxist movements that are trying to inflate us with an ideology like... These blacks and their communism. And, and part of that ideology is letting the... People cross the border. This is a betrayal of our Constitution because the Democratic Party is in charge right now. And they came up with, like I said in my last video, one of my last videos, a brilliant plan to fuck our country. Infest us by allowing with migrants chocolatos. to come here so they can vote Democrat and never lose an election again. Brilliant fucking pro uh, strategy. Brilliant. It really is. But yet not too many people talk about it. Not too many people mention about it. So I, I don't know what's going on, why people don't. Because it's a very important part of what's happening in our country today, which is heading for a free fall. Um, this is Gino in 20 years. If, uh, if Trump doesn't get elected, uh, we're going to see a depression bigger than what was in the 1920s. Now, this is not coming from my mouth. This is an interpretation of what I've heard on the news. And 
but your interpretation. So it is coming from your mouth. You know, I just I want to make it official that. Oh, look, I'm not, you know, I, I'm 100 percent letting you know, like if I have to vote between Biden and Trump again, I'm voting for Trump. Like. You know, at least I can hear you may not like what Trump thinks, but at least he says what he thinks. I don't even know what Biden's like. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Most importantly, because I think he's going to die. And then we're going to like Kamala. Because they're really sticking with Kamala, aren't they? I think they're really sticking with Kamala. I don't know. I'm not like a, I'm not like too up on it because I know it's going to get in our face nonstop over the over the year of a an election year or whatever. But yikes. Can we just get two new guys and then st- everyone's just dropping out? It's going to be Trump and it's going to be Biden. And we got to just look at these two old idiots again. Ugh. It's so bad. It's so bad. And this is the best we have. This is the best we have. We've dug up these two fucking idiots again. Ugh. I hate them. I hate them all. This is this is official. I am no longer a voice for the voiceless. I am, but not the way you might interpret it. Because I have made claims. I am a voice for the voiceless. No, I'm not. I now declare myself a voice for the white race. Wow, it is Gina. And the survival of the white race. And it's gotten so bad in this country with white people being discriminated against um, <laughs> and the bullshit that's going on with white people in American society today. This is why his, his rock and roll show has no listeners. Enough snuffing out the whites. That our own government has betrayed the white race with all these... Uh, Different appointments, uh, chocolatos of the uh, of those uh, of those people. <laughs> um, like my example, like a Fanny Fanny Willis in Georgia, and Tashika Tomika Marika. Hello! See, this is another problem with these people. Tanika Shanika Wanika. <laughs> it's like what. <laughs> If you don't like our country, don't name your kid Juanica. Why are you here? And we know why you're here because you're never going to leave because you got it too good here. You'll never get it. You'll never have it good in Africa. But <laughs> you want to change your. You'll never have it good in Africa. Your American names to Latisha, Watisha, Shobina, and Shakalaka. Shobina and Shakalaka. That is so un-American. What do you think? What do you think black people's names are? <laughs> Atisha, Shobina, and Shakalaka. Ah! Names to Latisha, Watisha, Shobina, and Shakalaka. Ah, my nurse Shakalaka is here. That is so... Your driver, Shobina, will arrive in 12 minutes. <laughs> Un-American. And it is a blatant violation uh, to have all these uh, names. Whether they're uh, uh, like Sharlika. Sharlika now? Oh, God, more names. And of course, Mohammed and Abdul Chilanko. Gialanko, my favorite. <laughs> In other words, everything is pointing toward these people. Nothing. Wait, let me just move the camera here. This is 
prejudice against white people. This is an attempt to overthrow white people. Uh, of course, uh, the Democrats are in charge, and most of them are white, but they're such traitors to our country, and allowing, uh, you know, the braids and everything, like if you work for the city, you know, you're a bus driver, now you can have braids. You, can have- you shouldn't be able to have braids if you're driving a bus. I mean, what is the world coming to with these braided bus drivers? Are you kidding me? Like I said, the chemtrail. Whoa, what is that? Why did it start playing that? Big fucking beards and you can look like a fucking animal. That's what these people look like. Kumia? Fucking animals. They don't look like civilized human beings. You know what I'm saying? Um... And it's all in the name of, it's all in the name of what they call that progress. Uh, I call it setting us back a hundred years. You know, they made a big deal, I guess, in the 60s about long hair. And I guess I'm doing the same reaction as they did back in the 60s about the hippies and the long hair. And They say Rosa Parks, but, you know, if she parked, she wouldn't have needed a bus if she even had a car. She could park. She could drive. Rosa rides, really. Am I right? Them not taking baths and everything. I guess Rosa complained. This is the same thing. But I think these people are uglier with those braids and... Oh, no. You know that 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 they 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 look like uh, something out of a fucking cave. That for- whoa! I mean, this guy got about them, and I think it's inappropriate to report to work looking like a fucking animal. That's my opinion. So, tell me, you don't want to see Joe on co- uh, Compound Media? I mean, we need to get him on with Akumia right away. Well, you know, this'll, this'll blow up. Also, I want to say that this country is, is, is starting to become unlivable. <laughs> I would like... Unlivable, that's what you are. ...to investigate possibilities of going to another country like Australia, uh, maybe New Zealand... You're not going to like what you find over there. The Abo Originals. You thought I was just going to leave it hanging. Ireland. Someplace where it being white is not a crime. And it seems today <laughs> that being white is a crime in this country. The way the, the government and the way... We're being treated as subhuman beings. We're not being treated with... It seems like being white is a crime. It's like, where? Where? Dignity and respect. They practically have turned their back on us and, 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 and cater... Free the whites! ...to these fucking pigs, these fucking animals that all they want to do is sell drugs and be in gangs and commit crimes... Uh, at a alarming rate. Kumi is losing his mind today because, like, there are, like, three articles out there saying, like, Gen Z's uh, thinks it's okay to shoplift more than any previous generation, and it keeps showing, like, white women, like, young white women uh, at checkouts and stores. And we've all seen the videos. It's not young white women, like, Running out of stores with Santa sacks full of merch on bikes. Um, so he's like losing his mind that all the articles are trying to make it look like young white women are shoplifting when it's, you know, gaggles of minority men. Um, largely. But it is like in our chat, people are going, fuck big stores. But that is like how people, I watch that guy, uh, Caleb Hammer on YouTube, where he like basically sits down with like young people and like 
goes over their finances and they're just all idiots and it's a wreck. They're all just living on credit cards. And, um, you know, and they all like have that attitude. Like, I don't know, the stores make a lot of money. So what if I take some stuff? It's just like, I mean, they don't understand that like that's how everything collapses. Like if everyone does that, it doesn't work. You think like it's just you doing it, but it's like, ooh. It is rough out there. It is rough, but it is uh, not. It is not the young white women robbing the stores blind. Uh, and they even go after their own kind too. I, I saw it on TV. Uh, this guy mugged a, a woman. Oh my God! Speaking of Heather and Xavier, apparently Xavier is like a male prostitute. They found some ad of him. I saw way more of Xavier's dick than I ever. Wanted to see. It's all on Reddit. Apparently, like, Heather Gillespie's boyfriend, Xavier, has been, like, turning tricks. And there were a million pictures of him in their tent with his dick out, bent over. I've seen Xavier's dick more than I ever, ever, ever. We couldn't show it on this show, I'll tell you that. And 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 tried to grab her purse and... and, and uh hurt her broke her finger and you know she's got bad headaches and everything i mean these people are jesse called melton a liberal white podcaster oh yeah i forgot about that. animals and they should be put i mean like i get the same people telling me i cuck for kb and i cuck for shuli i was like when, when have i ever supported shuli since he's been a fucking weasel to me and now he's doing the same thing to Tiff, allegedly. I don't have the full story, but I think either maybe on our member show tonight or maybe Monday, we'll, we'll get into Tiff's story. She wants me to tell this story about... I guess Shuli and Joe are gaslighting her or something? I don't know. Shuli's doing the same thing to her. Like, call, call me off air. We'll handle this off air. It's like, why do you want everything swept under the rug, hidden from the light? You know? fucking cage and it should be shipped out the fucking the Congo Republic you know if you're gonna do that kind of shit here Congo Republic I mean what the fuck and the cops hands are tied because of the woke liberal DA's who are not enforcing crime but yet are getting involved in political uh, persecution of our beloved President Chatter. Trump our beloved President Trump. Um. <laughs> anyway, these people are trying to start, to me, a some type of revolution. White people commit more of every imaginable crime than any other race, most of them two times. Not per capita, obviously, but white people commit 65% of all crimes. Yeah, I mean, white people are probably 65% of the population, no? Yeah, I mean, you don't want to get into a, you don't want to get into a, like, yeah, you don't want to get into that. <laughs> and they're pushing, and they're pushing, and they're pushing, and they're pushing. And more white people rob penthouses than black people. It's like, well, more white people are in penthouses. There's a lot of biased uh, stats, you know. I'm afraid that there's going to be, Something done. Look, I'm not defending the whites. We're gross about this. I don't know what's going to be done, but but if whites are gross, just imagine how dirty the they're pushing the envelope toward <laughs> violence because we have to survive. And I'm <laughs> proud to be a, a spokesperson and a rep. Well, actually, not. A, yeah, I say spoke whatever. I'm just an opinionated guy. Okay, I'm no leader or nothing like that, but I love white people, and I love the like what the fuck the 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 background that they come from from Europe. That's what made this country great. The European people with their science, with their technology, everything. They made the bomb. They made medicine. They made everything. Yeah, there's a few Indian doctors that are pretty knowledgeable a red light here 
peanut here, you know, but you take away, you, you, for every George Washington Carver, you got a million and one George Floyd, am I right? He passed him. But, you know, this bullshit, like what we're experiencing right now, this racism, this reverse racism. Reverse racism. I love we're not going to fucking talk. Reverse racism is my favorite. Tolerated. Okay? I don't know how, but we're not going to talk. And by speaking. We're not going to tolerate it. We're not going to take it. Speaking up like this, this is a <laughs> my way of not putting up with tolerism. And I don't put up with tolerism. I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm not putting up with tolerism, motherfuckers. And uh, another thing with the school kids, the woke forcing kids to be gay. I didn't get that letter from my kid's school. Did you? Dear parent, next week is gay day. At your child's elementary school, please make sure they pack a lunch and their asshole. It's gay day. Let's just call it for what it is. Let's just call it for what it is. Sexy. This country is fucked up. I'm 66 <laughs> years old. I ain't got that much time on this planet. And I want to live like... Like in the famous words of Dr. Martin Luther King, I want to live like everyone. I want to live. Is that what Dr. King said? And I would want to live. But you know something? If we're if this country is going to turn itself upside down on its head and poor kids. Imagine quoting Dr. Martin Luther King to back up your all white perspective <laughs> poor kids they had transvestites in a classroom talking to a kid this guy was a disgusting foul <laughs> individual who shouldn't be talking to this child and i could only imagine what he said to the kid oh kid forget about being straight you need to be a transvestite an lbgq gay whatever it is this is all the gay movement. They're not just settled with coming out of the closet and leaving us alone. Now they're harassing us. They're trying to force their agenda upon the straight people. People. There's got to be something done about this. We can't allow this. This is a threat to our national security to have these people trying to dominate all way of life. It's like MLK said, I want to live. I just need to live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't breathe, he said. Um, oof. Crazy Joe is back, man. He is just back. Um. You know, we got some crazy people out here. Oh. It fucking cracked me up, man. There was a, uh, a person out here that said about me flushing the toilet. I didn't get the right. I should have done it on uh, on this camera. Because I didn't... I didn't... Sh well, he's got the same thing on the bump of his nose that Kate Meany has growing out of her back. I didn't shoot it right. Look at that. That's a Kate Meany back bump. Right on the nose hump. Do 
there are a lot of people out there who say... This is my brand new phone. It's got triple camera. It's a Galaxy 6. <laughs> Brag more. Uh, that particular day, I was on another phone. So I didn't get the what I really wanted. Um, just play with the light here. Much better. Um, I hate ranting about all my hate if the lighting isn't correct. Yeah, the so- <laughs> Ooh, that teeth. Look at that tooth. Or lack thereof. It's like his dentist only has coverage for this side of the mouth. This side, we're going to let decay and just see what happens. But we can repair over here. Uh... <laughs> Every one of our fucking weirdos cannot afford a dentist. Every fucking guy. Chad makes fun of me about health insurance. It's like, yeah, that's a bit. Look at my teeth. They're fine. (laughs) My teeth are even and straight and not missing. Your teeth look like they all, uh, it's like, like what was causing them grow was like one of those carnival midway games where you squirt the gun at the center of the target. And everybody, all thirty-two people in your mouth, were aimed at a different target, and all, all your and they were all had varying skills of marksmanship, and therefore each one of your te- teeth grew to a different length. It's like somebody took a, a miniature version of Stonehenge and just shoved it in your mouth. Cool. Looks really, really cool to have. Totem pole Eastern Island teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Chad's teeth look like headstones. Yeah, it looks like the entrance to uh, the haunted mansion. It's like, well, we're going to have to read all the little limericks on all the tombstones. Oh, you fucking people are so fucking nuts. And, you know, and you're nice to me. See, that's the thing I don't get. I am very mean to you people because you deserve it. I'll Mm. get more into that in a second. But you people all seem to have a sense of humor, and I kind of like that. So I don't... I'm just trying to get the right light here. Mm. Okay. That ship has sailed, Joe. I can't get really mad at you people. You know, I try. I mean, I, I, I come out here in a rage. <laughs> because now I'm going to get a little bit deeper into this. <clears throat> well? What you people don't understand <laughs> is if I can get serious for a moment. Jesus Christ. You people well. are fucking nuts. The ones that talk regular to me. You don't talk regular, but you, you kind of talk regular. You talk pretty. Um, is the light okay here? Jesus. Well, we're waiting. Hello, exactly! Now, I did a video, I think it was on January the 7th, and I really expressed myself how disappointed I am in you fucking people, right? And the feedback was was pretty cool, actually. I had three comments, (laughs) and I liked all of them, including the jerk-off that said he was going to, he wanted my mailing address to send me something. Yeah, well... Uh, how about if you give me your mailing address and I send you something, right? Fair enough. Nobody likes onions. P.O. Box 139324948 four, four, Mountain Vista. Just kidding, of course. Between my fucking legs. About seven and a half fucking inches so you can stick it up your fucking ass. You just offer me a little dick for my ass? Scumbag. Um. <laughs> 
Oh, you want my address to send me something, you piece of shit? Loser. And I expressed myself in that video. I said, you know, you people are douchebags. <laughs> you motherfucker. See, you don't take me serious. That's why this is this is good. Because you probably see that I am really not a vicious guy. But, you know, you people piss me the fuck off. And I expressed in that video specifically that I did not like the way you people acted toward me. Now, I do have enemies out here. Who are the Onion? Or stalkers. And this goes back a few years with the that radio station in New Hampshire with Ratso Fatso and Brokeback Mountain faggot Billy faggot painter likes to take it up the ass in Brokeback Mountain. I think all those guys tried to mess with him after me. If anybody familiar with Brokeback Mountain, the movie, just look it up on Google. And <laughs> Thanks. Anybody, uh, uh, oh, it's like that Brokeback Mountain faggot. Uh, if you haven't seen him, Look up Brokeback Mountain, faggot. I wish I knew how to quit you. You'll, you'll get it. You'll get it. And then I said to myself, look, I realize that the people here who subscribe to me. Subscribe. They got nothing to do with Billy Faggot Painter. They got nothing to do with Ratso Fatso Matt Connington. Because these two guys unleashed their butt buddies to harass me and no billy painter and whoever this other guy is came after me i mean for five for four or five years it was all melt and melt and melt in the onions the onions patrick militant and the onions so he, he must be off that because we have left him alone for like four years so now he's on to billy painter and the bothered me and it was all mentally retarded stuff it wasn't anything it was just all mentally retarded stuff. And then I said in my video, look, I don't... The people who are here who have nothing to do <laughs> with the prior shit of the Ratso Fatso and the Billy Faggot Brokeback Mountain Painter Faggot Cocksucker that takes it up the ass. Whoa. I realized that. And I said, no, you people... Hold on. Ooh. that you people had nothing to do with my haters out there. But here's the point. So Check his page. He put out an onion reel today. Oh, no. When people are doing reels about you. It ain't good. As long as there's fucking scumbag, douchebag, cocksucker, onion motherfuckers, there's a good possibility I'm not coming on here. I'm like not going to waste my time with a bunch of fucking bastards. Like Chad. I'm I not doing a show. I'm going to hide. Wipes. Won't come on camera because Melton's watching. Who does this remind you of? Chad. Spying on me. Stalking me. Spying. Watching his videos. Or spying. <laughs> Harassing me. That ain't gonna fucking happen. As long as there's fucking scumbag, douchebag, cocksucker, onion motherfuckers, there's a good possibility I'm not coming on here. So get this straight. Right on? Until you people start supporting me in my show. I have no intentions of coming out here and making videos. I'm Unless you give my show money, I'm not doing my show. I'm going to try that from now on. We need three. We got to hit the goal before I even go live. <laughs> Why don't you try that, Mooby? Why don't you try that one? We don't even go live until we hit the goal every day. <laughs> done with this shit, okay? I'm busy putting my show together. I'm busy promoting my show. I'm very, very busy. I'm going to support independent bands. I don't got time for your bullshit, is what I'm really saying. Okay? So since you don't want to support me, you just want to make jokes out there and make me laugh and, and I don't know, be stupid, whatever it is, 
That's your prerogative. It ain't my prerogative. So who knows when it's the next time I'm going to make a video here. Maybe never. Now listen up. Between 5.15... Where, uh, is he doing his show on his website, Peter Sky Parker? Where's his rock and roll show now? Is it on the crazyjoeshow.com? Because he used to have... He used to do his... Uh, it was audio only. The crazy show.com. Maybe just crazyjoe.com. Okay, now this is his website. Monday nights at 8 p.m., the indie hour, drive by, afternoons, 5 p.m., and the show of shows, 8 p.m., Thursdays. Shows, skits, gallery, skits. Oh my God, do you want to hear a skit? He loves doing these. Oh, prank phone calls. His prank phone calls are epic. He doesn't know what they are. He always gives up about two minutes in and just tries to interview the person. I'm just kidding. What are you doing over there? (laughs) Hello. 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 Hi. What did I do? What? You're going to smoke dope and... and, uh... He's got a soundboard, but he doesn't know what he's doing. Why don't time. you tell me who you are, okay? Before you start call, before you call me I'm home a drunk and, throw, pimp. and you throw a bunch of questions at me, tell me who you are. I'm a drunk pimp. I hear Joe laughing. <laughs> I'm a drunk pimp. Hello. Hi. You're a bitch. <laughs> Thank you. You seem to me to be a, a very honest and straightforward individual. Okay, who are you? I'm a drunk pimp. Oh, fuck. Will you stop saying that? I want you to start living as a gay woman. What? And I want you to start having a gay relationship. Yeah? Well, you find me some hot pussy and I will. And you believe that you you just have no redeeming... A lot of these are like cut out of like uh, best of... He, do, he plays a lot of, like, jerky boys and shit. That's not even his stuff, and he plays them on his show. Qualities, no, nothing. Who is this? I'm a drunk pimp. Oh, my God. Who are you looking for? I have been, for a long time, a rotten little bitch. You know what? I'm not some schmo here. Who are you looking for? Kathy. Who? Kathy. Kathy? Okay. You have the wrong number. And tell me why. Pardon? And tell me why. You're looking for Kathy. There's no Kathy here. Okay. That's okay. Do you agree that you smoke? No. <laughs> no. I smoke. Does it seem superficial to you? I knew that one. you're the ones he does himself are great. I'm Central Deirdre speaking. How may I help you? Yeah, what's up, man? How you doing? Hi, I'm good. Hi, uh, you got a manager there? Yeah, this is him. Uh, yeah, sure. Can I ask what it's about? Yeah, I want to rent out the place. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to put you on hold for one minute, All right, okay? Hey, go right around. Right Traffic on 376 southbound between 82 and 52. Hi, this is Amanda. How can I help you? Yeah, what's up there, player? How you doing? Good. How are you? All right. Look here. Um, uh, you got the uh, rental for the, you know, for the place and stuff like that? For the full, full facility? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, you know, I don't have. You would have to make make a special um package and everything. What you mean so. by that? special package like what's up with that like it depends on what you guys wanted to do oh yeah 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 well like i said you know uh i'm interested in like ripping out the place like you know like um 
like, you know, for the, like, uh, evening or something like that, like after your clothes, or, you know, I don't want to inconvenience your, your, your partings, you know what I mean? But it's like, do you have, like, a separate room and stuff that, you know, you could make something, like, any time, like, in the afternoon or, you know, like, evening or, or night? Like, what, what, what kind of, you know, availability you got? Right. Well, what did you want to rent out the place for? Like a party? Or? Yeah, me. Uh, yeah, that's right. Me and my homies. We want to kick it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. Cause you know I'm a DJ. You know what I'm saying? I got an album out. Yeah. You know, and I want. I want. I'll have a CD release party. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. The person who um you would want to speak with is Anne. She's actually not in right now. Yeah. Um, this is a great prank, Joe. And, um, you know, it's like... And the, and the joke is, we don't even want to rent the place. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this? Just have your name and number. She'll uh, give you a call back. She works tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I want to bring my homies down. We're going to have a CD release party. He thinks just talking black is a great prank. We're going to have the press down there. We're going to have public access TV, you know, for the cable. We're going to have the news and department. It's going to be a, it may, we're, going, we're going to promote your place. Everybody who's, who's going like, this sucks, move on, is an idiot who doesn't get my show. That's why we're playing it. Do you think we think this is a great bit? No, I want you to see what he thinks is a great bit. It's like, yeah, 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 you're too dumb. To be here, so please do leave. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you ever heard my album, man? Old DJ Train going down to Nashville. You ever heard my album, man? No. DJ Train going down to Nashville. <laughs> no, I haven't. Yo, man, I think that. Yo, man, that be selling, man. I think be selling, man, on the internet, man. Oh, man, man, we made about a million sales, man. Yeah, man, you just gotta get into it, man. man. You come down to party with us too, baby. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. No, no, you come down and party with DJ Trey. You know what I'm saying? I'll hook you up. All right. So look here. When can I call this woman, Ann? Because I'm interested, man. Now I, I, I know you ain't taking me serious, man. No, if I could just have your name and your phone number, and then when she gets comes in to. Yikes! So he does, he's doing hour long shows now. Uh, what's the gallery? I want to see the gallery. <laughs> this is the gallery? The guy who got rid of rock and roll? Having a meeting to improve the Crazy Joe show? The one and only. So he used to drive like a limo for people what in the fuck yeah baby he thinks he really looks like a cool guy showing off his cloth seats so he, he does a one show a month he's like mike david Yeah, and hello out there. I think we got our mic too uh, too loud, baby. Too loud. And welcome to the uh, welcome to the Crazy Joe Show. As we always seem to have a technical problem right before the air. Since we found him in 2014, he's never done a show, a normal show, a full show. No technical problems. It's always something. So, it's a, uh, I don't know what kind of problem. We're trying to get the studio line uh, fixed up. And, uh. So he doesn't do his live show on YouTube at all. No video. It's all audio. He thinks he's going to, like, be the next Howard Stern. He really does want to be the next Howard Stern. Let's see. Okay. Look, I think our computer uh, went to sleep. <laughs> I don't know. I never seen a background like this. It's all black with the uh Hmm. Wow. Okay. 
Okay. Well, let's shut it down over here. In the meantime, why don't we... Um, why don't we... Uh, why don't we get the show going and... Uh, why don't we? Try to fix this whenever we can to get the studio line. I'm sure we got some calls out there that are going to be coming through tonight. So without further ado, let's start the show of shows. Absolutely. He calls his show the show of shows. <laughs> And all the heights will hit. Oh, the shot is in. Yeah, there's a Bob there. Uh, Bob, uh, a buoy. Ah, hey, you know what? It's really funny. Uh, thanks, man. All right. Okay, hey, Bob, a buoy? Yeah. Uh, is this Bob, a buoy? Yes, it is. It's Bob, a buoy. Bob, a buoy? Bob, a period buoy. Is, am I the first one to call with that? Yeah, yeah. Really? The guy. Guys, can you use it? Take you guys, guys going to use it? Yeah. Bob, a buoy. <laughs> he goes, no. Hey, that's really funny. <laughs> hey, Rock. Gary Del Bate, please. Ricky, young man. Start a show. Can I help you? Yeah, Bob. Got to go. Bob on this. So I don't know I don't know what the fuck any of that is. It's wild. It's insane. He if there was video it might be interesting but there's never video. He cobbles together these audio shows. He loves that. At 5:30 I'm going to do the afternoon drive. Something new that I'm doing. It's going to be on my website the crazy joe show.com. So if you people want to tune in, call in. If you don't, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> He's like Andrew Dice Clay if Andrew Dice Clay was never famous. You know what that was? Rock and roll. That's the Crazy Joe Show music. Hold on. I wanna... He used to be in a band called Junkyard Mailbox or Mail Dog Lunchbox or something. Do something for a second. Junkbox Mailroom? Whoa. Yeah, that's right. I'm making a video. <laughs> and uh, uh, I said 8 o'clock. And I am here at 8 o'clock doing my test show. And nobody has harassed me on my phone. I mean, not on my phone, on my uh, studio line. So, uh, with that said, <laughs> what? go fuck yourselves. No one's harassed me. Go fuck yourselves. I'll be on tonight, 8 o'clock. You cowards want to do something. Hit the like button. You know, be a bunch of pussies, harass us, whatever. You go for it. If you really want some, come and get some. It takes a while to cure. And then once I feel like I'm 100% that I can do a show without coughing, that I can have my appetite back, and that I will. And that I will.
Uh, just making a short video here. Uh, Billy Painter uh, is starting to harass me again. Excuse me. If I, if, I, if I may interrupt for a minute, this video message goes to Ratso Fatso's girlfriend. I can't. I can't. It's making me physically ill. It's making me ill today. And I don't need it. I don't need it. All right. We might uh, be Skyping Chad in a little bit. Uh, if he goes live, fingers crossed. Hi, Chad. And then we got members only tonight um, at a reasonable hour, I hope. Okay. Please, everyone, uh, send out the alerts. Let me know the minute Chad schedules a show or is going to do a show. We'll be watching. Chad fucking hates it. He hates it uh, when we Skype him. Don't let him fool you. Uh, other than that, thank you. We're going we're gonna to get out of here a little bit early today. I, I'm not well. This has made me fucking ill. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm sick to my stomach about it. Uh, also, we did a lot of time yesterday, and I just got to get this overdose stuff caught up for people. You deserve it. You deserve it. Apologies to uh, the email guy that I yelled about. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm a physically ill reaction from these crazy Joe videos. You know what I mean? Watch it. All right. Anyway, uh, I'll see you back soon. We'll be doing more. Pat looking tired. I am, I am tired, but I also just have a lot to do today. I've promised myself there'd be some goals. Do I have any other things to say? Exactly six million. Thank you. What's this guy's Patreon? Talking about Crazy Joe? <laughs> uh, Radish, thank you for give, uh, gifting a membership. And Welsh Rob, uh, becoming an Overdose Light member. You should become an Overdose member. Join up. Uh, yeah, Corn Diff wants you to head over and watch Corn Diff. It's a great piece of corn to watch. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit him yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit him yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you did for if you listen to the show, boy, Patrick Melton, Melton faces. Have you stacking that low point? It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. Gonna make the taco pony party be a party.